Okay. I think we're all good to go. So I'll bring these guys up. Hello. What hello. Are you hello, hello, hello. Hi. Welcome out, everybody, to episode 68 of God Oh my Forged. god, we're almost at 69. God, that's gonna be oh fucking god. funny. Next week is gonna be fucking funny. That's Hilarious gonna be a episode. really that's good, gonna, goofy episode. Be... That's the body swap episode, Mark yeah. Myler. <laughs> can we, can we, one of these sessions, please? <laughs> Wait, who cast Reduce on Sam? <laughs> you look so tired. <laughs> <sighs> he's slept and he got comfy. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can be comfortable. Be yeah. comfy, be comfy. No, 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 I just no, 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 comfort <laughs> in his own home. Yeah. <laughs> been made to fucking feel uncomfortable in D&D. &D. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Well, I don't mind, man. I just wanted to make the joke. It came to mind. Um, I hope you're all doing We're good. So proud of you. Thank you, yeah, thank you. Is this what, this what you want, Joe? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. oh, oh he's, he's, he's giant growth. There he oh. is. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <The> unenthusiasm. <laughs> well. Haug or whatever. How are we all doing? Yeah, Haug or whatever. Close, close. Haug is a different one, but it's one close. Of the, one of those. Remember one of them is good. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, welcome back to episode so, 68, Anna's everyone. Damage introduction. Yep. Yeah, it's the uh, resistance one. Um, does anyone have anything they want to shout out, announce, anything like that? Yeah. If not, yeah. everyone go ahead and roll me a straight dexterity check. What? The lowest Why? person what? reads the recap. Oh. <laughs> the last week. Why? That's not fair. <laughs> hey, we're ready to wisdom week. Oh, fuck. Nine. 23. 22. Oh, oh Shane! I did it last week because I failed! I did it last week. What did you roll? What did you roll? It was on purpose! Oh my god, dude, I saw it. Oh There's god. no way I can fuck Ramsel this up, right? Roll. Got Only this. a nat one, I think. You can't get under a two. A nat one, you read it no matter what. Don't get a nat one. Multiple Hold on, I gotta roll Aaron two. What, or what happens one? if two people roll a nat one? Um, do they read it at the same time? Three, two, one, go. Yeah, they'd be like rock, paper, scissors. Yes, that is what happens now. Yep. Okay, I'm making my roll now. I hate this Here new rule. <laughs> Don't worry, once we get to the bottom, we'll change out. Oh, oh I roll. Oh, shit. <laughs> three. Oh, my God. I yeah. live. So close. Same oh, my God. Three. Whoa. Where's Shane? <laughs> Shane, this yeah, is the curse of having Shane. two characters. Come on. Oh, my God damn. <laughs> Shane! <laughs> Face. Nia, go ahead and give us that uh, that sweet, sweet recap, Shane. Not sure. <laughs> Put some fucking heart into it, god damn it. <laughs> Read it like you mean it. Hell no. <laughs> After landing in the cradle, we battled against the butcher, waiting in the docking area. Climbing our way up, we decided that the best approach was to attack the hall and give Marta less chance to charm us. Her knights and several guards clashed with us. During the fight, we freed the docile Count Fairfax from his charm and noticed a living teal-skinned teal skinned being is just teal-skinned above the throne uh, tied to the ceiling. Oh, is that what it said? All right. <laughs> no, I thought it was being above. Okay. Uh, Marta, in a moment of desperation, tried to cut her way through the chains of the keep, but we managed to stop her before destroy destroyed the second one. She finally drank her final vial before falling to the ground in ashes and rose from them as a phoenix empowered vampire. Is that good enough to me? That was amazing. Great. Yeah, that was yeah, great. I mean, like, honestly, it sort of scared me a little bit at yeah. the beginning. <laughs> what I'll do, Shane, uh, is you get advantage because you have two characters from now on for the uh, uh, for the recap shit. roll. Um, there you go. Thank you. So, having fought your way towards the cradle, spending the last couple of days here, lost the ship, lost some crew members, Won some fights, killed some enemies, and managed to find your way to the top of the crater. You're finally face to face with Martha. You've beaten her first phase, whittled her down so that she had to use her desperate last vial that she had been saving. Now you stand face to face with her. She's just risen from the ashes and stands before you. We're going to go ahead. And start today by going straight into the combat. 
And it's going to be the top of the round. And let's go ahead and put this music on instead for this one. And Skull. Oh, boy. Yes. Is your Die turn? At the top of the round? Uh, or not the actual top of the round. <laughs> yes, sorry. It would have been... It's where we left off, just I guess? left off, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Um, I believe, as you can see by the latest rolls, it was just actually after Skull had done his damage. I had um. dealt the killing blow and she had dropped oh, the violin right. response oh, right. like, yes. and then okay. come back to life. Um, uh, and I had, I think I had, I missed my last hit because then I was like, and I miss. Yeah. So it's not my turn. Um, it will move on from your turn, but you, your giants might end next turn. Because we're 10 rounds in now. Are we 10 rounds well, in? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Okay. Um, so rising from the ashes, the kind of ashes drifting off her skin, her hair now, not just orange and kind of this deep auburn color, but now actually burning with fire. Her eyes reddened with both bloodshot and burning embers in the center of them. Her dress now flowing with kind of the, the veins in her skin now kind of protruding from it, burning underneath them. She is both fire and vampire. She glares around. Fear, you see her, and it's your turn. That sucks because I was ready for Sam to take a turn and I wasn't there <laughs> for myself fair. to take a turn, but that's fine. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm gonna look at Marta and be like, what the fuck? And then I am going to. Hopefully, this is not gonna work, but well, let's try. Anyway, uh, where is she? She's... Just above Skull. Just above Skull. Okay, hold on. I gotta make a little window tiny. You're okay, sure. Timothy. Where am I? I'm right there. Okay. Um... All right. Yeah. I... I'm going to... Oh, wait, when's her turn? Sorry. I gotta remember what's going on. Okay. Yeah, fuck it. We'll try it. Uh... What do you want to do? I'm going to poke my head around the back of the chair mm -hmm. so I can see her better. And then I'm going to be like, you were always a shitty sister. I fucking hate you. And as I say that, I'm going to try to psychic glance her again. Mm. So as I'm like, I hate you. Ching. A shimmering glance of energy blasts from my whatever forehead. Intelligence safe? <sighs> yeah, I don't think this is gonna go that well for me, but uh, yes, it is. Um, just as you see, you you get this kind of moment of like vulnerability, where <laughs> she has just risen getting used to the kind of the new form, her new skin, and you pry into her mind, you successfully feel it. And she feels you prying. And then just pushes her whole essence of her body. You just see the flames plume up to her mind, the veins kind of protruding and popping on her head. And this burning sensation pushes you back out. She <laughs> lets out an exasperated sigh. She's going to spend her last legendary resistance, and her AC is going to drop by two permanently. Oh shit. Okay. Yo. That works. Hell yeah. So, <clears throat> does she still take half damage then? Because she. She still like... take half damage. It's just a way All to right. succeed the same with her. Fucking sucks. God damn. Who but does? she does take uh, not a lot of damage. Oh. Um, uh, 13 points of damage? Eight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I know someone asked in the chat as well last week. The, the numbers that I type above the head is the damage done, not the health they have. You, I could go up to a thousand here. You guys wouldn't know. It's just so you guys can keep otherwise, track of it. Otherwise, we could just watch stream and see the health. Yeah, it's better to keep exactly. it secret. Health yeah. is kept secret. Keep it secret. Keep um, it safe. You would see the like, nice. you'd see the burning sensation. Good reference. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you feel it kind of keel up for a moment and stand up tall and she looks over to you and goes, Don't worry. You have many more years to forgive me. 
Once I change you. And she glares back around the room. Anything else in your tongue? Yeah, I'm gonna look horrified. Mm-hmm. And then, and then that's it. <laughs> is that her plan? I know that's you hate gross. me, sister, but yeah, we will rule don't. this area together as vampire sisters. But I don't like you. We're not gonna be friends. It's not. <laughs> I don't want to do that. You can't sit with us. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, I have friends. <laughs> at the end of her turn. Sorry, oh, at the end of shoot. your turn. Um, she's gonna use one of her legendary actions. And she siphons a hand. <sighs> Blows a little flame out of it. You see the end of her finger burns, the tip, and blood. A single droplet comes out and starts to grow and then grow, creating a blood golem. Oh, come on. I'm going to try that again. Creating a blood golem. <laughs> oh, scary. Sorry. <laughs> I meant just because the token was wasn't landing. I'm more of like a response this time. <laughs> uh, and you just see this blood golem just kind of rise up, taking off some of the metal that's been clunked around the ground and just stands to a full five feet tall. Um, still quite short, but stocky. And, goes, and this kind of blood tendrils opening up its mouth. Timothy, it's your turn. Uh... <clears throat> Causing that blood column kind of ruined my plan. Uh, I could still do what I want to do. I'm going to swing my whip at her. Okay. Oh, 17. That hits. Okay, and with it, I'm going to use Contagion. Mm. Okay. She's going to be poisoned next three turns no matter what. And, uh, of course, we'll go for Slimy Doom if it goes off. Um... She's undead. She's immune to poison. Ah, she's a bitch, actually. She she's does not suck. <laughs> I thought when she phoenixed, she was... No, so she's still technically undead. She's just taking on the aspects of the phoenix. Oh! Yeah, it's basically just phoenix bitch. blood. <sighs> Family, am I right? Hey, that's all I can do. I'm sorry, dude. It was a good move. But yeah, no, she's still technically undead. She's still a vampire. I should have remembered from last week, too, because I tried the same thing on someone. Did I even try it on her? I tried it on the Huntsman, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, your whip goes off. You feel the kind of the poison it seep in, and she goes... <sighs> One of the many more benefits. And looks at you and goes, Would you like to try them? Um, is it the end of your turn? Yeah, all I did was just whip her for no damage. It's a I'm kinky sorry, fight. Nice. <laughs> Everyone takes a moment Timothy to just look at Jimmy things. like, yeah. oh, we can <laughs> Found that away for later. Um, <laughs> she is going to uh, look to you, Timothy, and she's going to take her other legendary action, the one that costs two, and she is going to... Now she's going to look towards Skull and Basil behind him. And you see as her body just <laughs> bursts into a ripple of flames. She becomes a mist of fire and just shoots forward straight through and lands oh, behind no. Basil. Can I get a <gasps> dexterity saving what? throw from uh, Skull and Basil, please? She just bursts through. You just yeah. see this kind of fire I just yeah. coming straight through. 21. Ooh. Nice. Oh. <clears throat> oh. And that one. Yikes. Uh, okay. It's fine. Uh, you take it's fine. 18 it's points okay. of fire damage and, and you take Brush 9 points, Basil. So oh, 18 and 9. Ow. As she just bursts through, she peers okay. behind you. You manage to dodge out the side. She kind of goes straight through Skull, just a kind of burning, rippling effect straight through her skin. And then through you, Basil, you manage to dodge the side, but you still get scolded on the side of you. She lands behind you and then forms back. <laughs> get scolded. <laughs> get scolded. <laughs> Uh, say it loud. Say it louder next time, you coward. <laughs> Fair. Out of You gotta own it. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Can I? How big and spooky does this golem look? Uh, he's about five that foot tall. He's quite place. stocky. He looks like kind of dwarven shape, um, okay. but his blood is kind of boiling on his skin. Okay. Gang, I want to start the plan. 
Uh, and that takes two turns for me to do my part of the plan. Understandable. So uh, I am going to shoot a harpoon at the vampire. Okay. For an 11, that's a big whiff. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, unfortunately, it does miss, even with a reduced AC. Fuck. Yeah, Shoot. it's... Uh... Or just the size it lands. That's all. Okay. Are you going to reel it back in as a bonus action? Uh, yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it back in. Um, okay. Uh, the Night Lord. Um, his turn. The Night Lord. Um, <laughs> don't, please don't insult my edgy names, okay? Such as a dragon. Right, it's a wedgie here. That's fucked up, dude. Yeah. No, he needed to help that. That dude was like. Uh, it's a title, okay? He is the From now on, I will be known as. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Fuck. Uh, you see him kind I'm of rush no over. I'm Cedric. <laughs> I swear to God. They're immune to bludgeoning, slashing damage, and fire now. Um, you see him kind of rush over, and yeah, he's gonna have to—he's gonna have to take a dash action. Um, he's gonna dash and put some blockage between him and his leader, and stand there with his sword and shield, just kind of aimed out towards you. I look and kick him in the Martyr. back of the knee and like make him fall now. She's gonna look down towards you, Basil. Oh, no, no. Her hand burning with fire. <sighs> and she is going to take unarmed strikes against you with a burning fist. She's just slapping me around. <laughs> what the hell? An 18? At least she's not going after the chains. Yeah, that hurts. A 22? A 24? Yeah, that hurts. And yeah, a 22. that hurts. I might fuck? die. <laughs> uh, you take seven points of bludgeon damage from the first one. Sorry, no, fire okay, damage. It's fire damage now. Okay, um, okay, okay. Seven points okay. of fire damage, then 13. Okay. Wait, then seven, 13. Then okay, six, hold on. so 26 so oh, far. I've got to break out the calculator. Okay. Uh, 37 <laughs> total. 37 total? Yeah. Okay, hold okay. on. She goes, oh, I'm, da I'm, da I'm down. You, what, I'm how down. much health did you have? 36. Okay, yeah, so on the last strike, you see the three burning hits just slam against you, the burns rippling against your skin. And the last one, she just uppercuts you against the jaw. And knocks you down oh. to the ground. You feel the burns okay. go against your throat before you pass out on the floor. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then she smiles. <laughs> no. She also would heal. What the fuck? Forehand. This bitch. <laughs> Once she's yeah, taking you down, okay. she's going to step 10 feet to the right and just open her arms and say, Next. Really wish I didn't dead. miss that harpoon. Mm. The ghoul on his turn is going to look towards you, Fia, okay. and take his bite attack. All right. Which is in that one. You just see him kind of bite into the air and just slightly miss you, pulling away like one strand of hair. And then he'll take a claw attack, which is a 17 to hit. Uh, a shield. You just see the claw bad. He he just scrapes down it. You just see the kind of rippling effect of the arcane. That's all he can do. He's the last ghoul remaining, right? Other than the, the night lord. Uh, I, I think, think so. so. Yeah. Okay. Fabia, top of the round. Um. <clears throat> so because I'm a bad player. <laughs> <laughs> on my inventory okay. list, it just says healing potion. <laughs> I have apparently two healing potions. I think you could pour it from oh, the ceiling. Oh, because I gave you. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, um, they're, they're the one below superior because there was only one superior and I bought it for a thousand. Great. So the ones you have would be. Oh, great, greater? Or... Greater, yeah. How much does that do? Uh, uh, 44 plus potion. four. Okay, I want to, I want to feed one of those to homie on the ceiling. Oh, okay. But first, but first, I'm gonna go up there and be like, "Hey, man, you just hanging out here? <laughs> What's up?" I got you on the ceiling. <laughs> ah, yeah. You... I got it in there. Yeah. 
Um, you still have your action, by the way. It's a bonus action to administer a potion. Oh my Great. god. Great. Um, after I've like fed it to him, I'm gonna be like, all right, well, uh, we're still killing these guys. If like you have some sort of a vendetta and you want to help out with that, I'll just chill here for a sec. He says to you. I can help you get down if you want. Unbind me. Great. <laughs> I was so hoping you would say that. <laughs> I will. I will unbind him. Okay, you spend your action to unbind him. You pour the drink in. Go ahead and yeah. roll the forty-four. Okay. Plus four. Roll four d four plus four. Sixteen. Okay. Nice. You see, as as you unbind him, his wings kind of come up and he drops down, I knew and they manage to fly. kind of hover them down to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear the <laughs> as his wings span out and he enters the field and you nice. see suddenly as he lands feeling a bit more of himself the potion now administered this radiant energy starts rippling through his eyes turn a golden kind of glowing color his head has this kind of glowing waves down it so does his chest and his armor and the radiance come across him until these two long whip like radiant beams kind of emanate from his hands and rip to the ground. I weighed you. And it was how much healing? 16. 16. Sweet. He was hurt, so... <clears throat> he's only on 28 health, but... I managed to heal him up quite a bit. He stands there and ready, and I'll enter him onto initiative. Yes. Nice. Good call. B buddy. A buddy. Immediately, feels like, what's your name? I'm kidding. He's like, I can be your angle or your death. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> Joe's like, and he died. It's so weird. He just died. Yeah. He's actually allergic to healing. So For some sure. reason, he whipped yeah. Basil. <laughs> I'm already on the floor, please. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Basil's already down, so that's a critical hit. Oh no! Yeah, Basil's gonna or Basil's gonna get killed off today. Yeah. yeah Stop! Yeah. Don't say that. Um, Don't say that. <laughs> knock on wood. It everybody. takes it takes double movement to get up here, so it would take ten feet. Yeah. Yeah. Or how high was it? That's okay. ten feet off the ground. Yeah. Ten. Right, there any... uh, I'm gonna hit this shield skeleton boy. Okay. First with two of these, uh, two of these wallops. Did you mean the Night Lord? They suck! Wall oh, and Night. Shit. He just holds up his shield, ting, ting, and looks past oh, it. Hell. Just lets no. us huge oh, grin. Take his shield Fuck. away. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, Aaron turns exactly 180 degrees and walks away. <laughs> walks, walks away? Yeah. He's gonna do an, He's gonna do a strike. Well, with the, he didn't do a bonus action. He's gonna oh, disengage. Okay. Bonus action disengage. Go, go, go. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I forgot to say that. End of your turn? Yeah. Basil. Basil. I'm rolling make... a death save, right? Yes, please. Oh, I believe boy. in you. 11. That's one success. Whee! Whee! <sighs> <sighs> okay. Scold. Yes. Where's she fucking at now? She's down yeah, there on the, on the stairs. stairs. She just, like, bitch slapped me around, knocked right. me down. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna bitch slap. I'm gonna give her a beat yeah. the skull, the old fashioned, the good old skull. Oh, Basil shouldn't have gone down. That's right. Uh, you oh? have the half orc endurance where if you go down, yes, you, you have. Do. Oh my god, thank you. Yes, you do. I always forget to use that. Yes, you do. Completely forgot about that. Oh yeah. my god, um, you always forget that too. So, as the last thank hit you, hits you in the, in the in the in the draw, I get you're toppled one hit back, point. and then you regain yourself. Just the fury of your half orc blood kicking in. You stand resolute. <sighs> Angry Before Basil. you move, uh, Skull, I'll just move you back up there. Uh, Basil, you get your full turn because you're technically up with yes. one HP right now on your turn. I pop nice. into a monkey and get 150 Ooh. HP. <laughs> okay. That's a good Fair move. Enough. You're right. I need some HP. Yeah. Good call. Um, and can I move if after I've polymorphed? Uh, oh, oh, I yeah. guess Tiny I probably monkey. don't want to, though, because oh. I'm within range of that guy, right? Uh, yeah, I don't want him to get attack yeah. off, so You'd I'll get probably attack just... off June you, if you yeah, I'll probably just stay there, move Basil down there. Okay, uh, then that will end my turn. Yeah, you just see, just kind of weakly, you just, your entire form changes, 
Part of you just like hanging off the edge, but you actually got a foot just off the edge and you're still like right next to her. And she looks up and goes, a third time. And she just smirks. <laughs> <laughs> Skull, now it's your turn. Okay, I walk over. Do you want me to reroll my attack? Uh, what was it? I don't want to take away a good a 17 second. It would have hit. Go for it. 15 bludgeoning damage. 15 bludgeoning. Scald it begins an all too familiar flurry of more blows. Except this time he ain't gonna miss, not oh, once. Because that's a nat oh. 20. Nice. Okay. Hell yes. For uh, 20 to 31. 31 damage. damage. Just a huge strike to her. She goes, <coughs> you see a cough up a little bit of blood. <laughs> Still re remaining on her feet, but hurt. 15? Uh, 15 actually hits with a reduced AC. A 17 bludgeoning damage. Very nice. You slam her again. And nice. with that final blood, Scold towers over her still resolute. It's going to take more than a phoenix until she kills him next time. <laughs> then you return, you would. Down to your normal size. Oh, as my bonus action, I'll just reapply it. <laughs> you never reduced. <laughs> uh, it's like I start to shrink with the <laughs> exhale, and then as I breathe in, I get to back up. Fia, <laughs> uh, it's your turn. Uh, okay. So we got the Night Lord, Marta, a weird blood thing, and the ghoul that's next to me, right? Mm hmm. Okay, cool. Um. Let me. Whoops. I'm having trouble with my box. Everything's fine. Um, okay. I am going to. How's the. <laughs> he looks like a ghoul. How's the guy in front of me? Uh, you guys have barely touched him, actually. God damn it. Fuck. Okay. You've been ignoring well, him. I yeah, am going. Two. What do you well, want to do? I don't actually like any of my options, and uh, the we haven't hit. Nobody's hit the like blood no, guy yeah. yet, right? Or no, no. nothing's in. Yeah, no. Okay. Um. Okay. I will. Uh. I guess I'll 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 firebolt the blood guy. Okay. The bloody. The bloody blood guy. Oh yeah, everyone has advantage on it now. My bad, I forgot about that. Thanks, chat. Yo, Ooh. what? Oh, the crusher you feet. If I crit, it. yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's nice. huge. Advantage in totally. Yes. Yeah, so next time, you see, she's clearly Thanks, winded chat. right now from that hit, and so she's moving a lot slower. The plan. Uh, still, <laughs> sixteen fire damage. Still, plus five. Uh, yeah. Uh, plus five. Yes. Twenty-one. Twenty-one fire damage. Okay. Yeah, you just pfft, see the burn just kind of melts away some of the blood, causing it to coagulate and drop to the ground. Um, anything else? Um. Bonus action, yeah. movement, anything like that? Oh shit! No, he can't. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Pog move, um, but not with a ruler. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna have him pop over here. Okay. Um, and, uh, on the high rush's turn, he now landing on the ground. It looks to the ghoul, and with this range, you just see going past you. Well, actually, it'd be blowing enough up because you're up on the ceiling. At range, he's gonna go and whip three times against the ghoul in front of you. Ooh. Uh, twenty-three, a twenty, and a twenty. So they all hit 11 radiant, 7 radiant, and 6. So a total of 18, 24 points of radiant damage as these whips just strike this ghoulish creature. You can see it kind of like holding its kind of blade up and like snarling at him as each whip come in. He just carries on just laying into it. Timothy, good turn. Um, I'm going to mass healing word everybody except for Monkey, including uh, new guy we just dropped. I'm going to replace okay. the normal Basil heal for him instead. 
Nice, nice, nice. Because uh, we're not doing so good. Is there a way that you can heal Basil through the monkey, or is that just no? I don't it think has so. to be no. moments. I, I super don't need healing right now. I've been full the entire fight. I think. I mean, okay. I'm in so much pain. <laughs> Four, I'm bleeding five, out. Six. I've taken about 200 damage. I'm gonna be honest. Holy uh, oh, wait. Fight. Oh, okay. No, I forgot. There's since Adelward's here, we do have seven people. So I'll drop it on mm -hmm. Adelward and do it on everybody else. Okay. And it will be which one of my million heals? Uh, I'll cast it fourth level. Cool. For 15 healing. 15 healing. Press the board. Nice. Just see this eminent radiant energy come out and go across everyone. And that's a bonus action, so I'm also going to... I'll, I'll Sacred Flame Shield Boy. Mm. Yeah. So he has to make a deck save. Um, okay. <laughs> he fails. The beam just comes down, strikes against him. Uh, oh, that's max damage, baby. Oh, that's a good roll. 16. He yeah. has been healing between turns, though, but <laughs> yeah. you just see the radiance burn against him. He goes... <sighs> and he grits his teeth. Sick. And that's nice. all I do. Actually, uh... I'm gonna stand right here. That's all I do. Okay. Adelward. Adelward is going to uh, harpoon at the vampire lady again. Okay, you have advantage. advantage this time, right? Uh, 18, 21. It hits. So yeah, 21. Uh, all right. Normal A damage, 10 piercing plus thunder monger, 25. Oh, shit. Uh, nice, that's a total then, of 35 points of damage. I will nice. go for the stun, uh, which is a constitution saving throw. Okay. Come on. Uh, uh. Uh, it's a 23. Your high con. Yeah, she passes that. Actually, I rolled really well. Rolled a 19. Um, you just see she kind of... <laughs> It kind of burns from the Thundermonger coming off, but she holds. Anything else? Uh, Battleward will yell, You have to break the window! And he is going to uh, get ready to enact his big plan. Okay. The Night Lord. On his turn, you'd see as Marta goes points up to the ape that's just kind of groan beside us. Break him. Don't. That's just rude. And he's going to take a 17 to hit. Uh, yeah, I think it's 12 as my ape, so yeah. Uh, you take 12 points of slashing plus 7 points of necrotic damage on the first okay. hit, so 19. Um, Thank you. And then uh, please roll a constitution saving Con. throw. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh. Eight. As the sword ripples against you, you immediately pop back in. The place you're taking back down there. I have one HP, and I am. That was my final spell slot to do polymorph. Shit, dude. Um, I literally only have level one spell slots and level two spell slots left, and not many. <laughs> what about is your token? Okay. Oh, I moved it down here. Sorry. Here. Okay, it's okay, okay. And he's gonna step up again, smile, no, 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 no. and then stab you. A 15 to hit? Uh-huh. 10 points of slashing, 13 points of necrotic. And yeah, she just I'm drives down. a sword into you. And then Bro. pulls out slowly, letting you drop to the ground. Okay, bitch. On Marta's turn. She is going to... Use a bonus action. Have the blood golem go after Timothy. It's going to strike out against you. A 19 to hit, Timothy? No. Nice. You just see it kind of rippling against the side of you. Um. Okay, yeah. Um. And then she's going to take a four action to look up a use goal. 
And she is going to... Well, first, actually, she would heal. And then she's going to strike you. Onto an arm strike. 25 to hit. Uh, 13 points of bludgeoning damage. No, sorry. Fire damage. She's uh, in a fire fall. Yep. And then she's going to do another one. This one's going to try and grapple you. 13. She misses. She's going to try again. 15. Misses. And so she's going to go for a strike, a normal fire show. She gets frustrated trying to grab hold of you and just keep pulling away from her. She tries another one. It's a 15. She goes in for a slam. Misses. You just kind of deflect it against the side of your gauntlet. On the ghoul's turn. It's going to turn straight towards you, Fear. Mm -hmm. We go for a bite again. Okay. A 22 to hit. Yep. Uh, you take 14 points of piercing damage. Okay. And can you please make a constitution saving throw, please? I can. Well. Your body, as you feel his teeth dig into your shoulder and pulls out the poison injected into your skin, your body ceases up. You are paralyzed for okay. the next minute. You get to make the same throw at the start of each of your turns. All right. Uh, can I also get another con save as well, please? <clears throat> 24. Okay. And then he's going to do a, a claw attack with advantage now. Uh, 18 to hit. Can I, can I shield now? No, I'm uh, paralyzed. Let me just double check. I don't think so. It's paralyzed. <laughs> Leave it takes away stuff. Let me check. I think you can't take reactions. In which case, yeah, then it's so, obviously. Transformed. Uh, you're incapacitated. Um, okay. Let me just double check incapacitate just to make sure. I'm pretty. Yeah, sure. you can't take reactions. Can't I just reactions. looked at. Um, okay, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, an 18 hits? Yes. Uh, and you take 46 points of slashing damage as the oh. damage is doubled. Ooh. And he just brings his claw straight up your chest to the bottom of your chin and pulls his blade back out. What a oh. dick. Can I also this get another con some... save, please? It's a little, looking a little scary, huh? <laughs> I have a plan. Okay. It's a uh, DPS race, I think, right now. Yeah, Imagine how the fuck. healer feels right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, buddy. You just feel this poison in it into you. You're watching as he claws you deep. Jesus. Top of the round is Fabia. Um... Uh, I just saw my boy Basil go monkey and then immediately unmonkey yeah. and then pass out. Yeah. Um, sorry, I know that we just talked about this and maybe somebody answered. What is his AC? Um, he's wearing Dark. plate and a shield. About 20. Dork knight. Yeah, we this know guy. it's from maybe 20-ish. <laughs> yeah, it's high. Okay, I'm going to steady aim and try to just shoot him. Okay. I uh, somehow accidentally made Brie the focus of this entire call, and it feels poetic. <laughs> Hi. I'll fix it in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm dying. What's up? 18. Uh, 18 doesn't hit, I'm afraid. doesn't hit. He, just clings, he, he manages to bring up his shield just in time. It would have hit without the shield. You see, just kind of clink it against it. Just slowly lower it okay. to the ground. Okie dokie. Anything else you want to um, do? I kind of like being up here. I can't move anyway because I use steady aim. Um, no, I think that's all I can do. Okay. Aaron. Okay. Aaron's doing better, actually. Um, He's going to go for the blood golem. Okay. Seeing it's a new target and it went after his Timothy. 
With a 12 and 26. Uh, let me just double check, actually. I think he's got low AC. Yeah, both hit. Oh my nice. god, 12 nice. hits? Yeah, he's just a big blob of it. blood. Go, go, go! Okay, uh, 23 <laughs> damage on those big rolls. 23 damage. Um, Is he still up? Uh, barely. Uh, you just smack into him twice, and you feel the blood burn through, causing huge holes in him. Um, it's going to try his unarmed strikes. You take... I take! <laughs> a trophy for doing such a great job! Yay! I took <laughs> 13 oh points from necrotic damage. That fucking funny, dude. Uh, oh eight eight and a five. God. As you push into it, you see the blood kind of ball and burn. Aaron's kind of gauntlet his fists. Uh, I mean, he's going to try one more with the unarmed strike. Okay, go yeah. for it. He's going to try to bring this thing down. Seven? Seven. Wait, that's just damage, isn't it? Yeah, seven damage. It oh, rolls seven 15. damage. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... You take eight points in necrotic. I rolled very high, and that was a it was a D eight. Um, but he does drop okay. to the ground as it splashes out against you. Hey, Aaron's gonna get out of here. Is that cool? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! That's all he does. Okay. Basil, it's time to go. Say... Yes, please. Ten. Is that that's, it? Yeah, that's one success. success. It's your minimum you need. <laughs> okay. Cool. cool. God. <gasps> At the end of your turn, Marta is going to take a legendary action. Of course she is. She's going to send a firebolt straight towards you, Fear. All right. A 25 to hit. That hits, but... I am resistant, and... Okay. Because of my tattoo, I can spend a spell point for immunity, but can I not do that because I'm incapacitated? Does it take? Does it like say continue? you take an action to do that? I don't think it. I don't know. What does it say? Read it out. Hold on, I'm pulling it up. <laughs> uh, it just says you can gain resistance to fire. Or sorry, you gain resistance to fire damage and can choose to spend one sorcery point to gain immunity for ten minutes. It's uh, you know how you can already choose to spend it on um, uh, resistance yeah. to the blood, draconic bloodline. What does it take for that? Uh, check. Well, I would I remember that? But uh, da, 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 da. that's elemental affinity. Which one is it? At the same time, you can spend one sorcery point to gain resistance to that damage type for an hour. Um, it'd be when you cast the spell. You'd have to be doing it whilst you're casting your fireball. That's when you decide to spend it. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah, based off your uh, elemental affinity. It's essentially an elemental affinity improved. I get it. Okay. Uh, well, you'd only take eight points of fire damage then because it's reduced down from 16. I just hear it right. ripples up against you. Skull, it's your turn. Right. She's obviously not taking me seriously, dude, so I'm just going to have to hear her again. Please do. Yeah. Slap some sense into her. Uh, let's see. 27. That hits. For, tw- for 19 bludgeoning. 19 bludgeoning. Just slam against so her again. So many dice roll on Skull's attacks. Uh, 26 for 17 bludgeoning. Very nice. You slam her again. And, ooh, a 13. I, mean, I think that's a miss. Just misses. You just see it kind of swing, and she just manages to pull aside. And there's that breath. Actually, wait a minute, second. Uh, Crusher, does it only work until the start of your next turn? Yes. Okay, so it's not until the end of your next turn. Okay. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Um, um so, yeah, so that'd be a miss. Okay. He's been th- he's been swinging so much without a rest. The the last one is <laughs> his breathing is faltered. He misses. Okay. Um. Fear. That's my turn. Go ahead and make the concept. I'm gonna use my reaction to That's take 20. that oh. concept. 
You don't need to. Never mind. You don't need to. Net 20. <laughs> Your body, the fire kind of burns through you. When the fireball hit you, almost like a portion of it, the damage which you didn't take seeps into your skin and then burns away any of the poison inside your system. And you just feel it seep out. Um, kind of almost that relief when you get rid of like a, a horrible kind of spot. You you have this kind of moment of just ejecting all the poison from your body and stand <clears> resolute. <throat> you get your full turn. Okay. Um, my full turn. Uh, I didn't think I was going to make it. I was not prepared for that. I will... Um, I'm going to get out of there. This okay. standing here sucks and I hate it. So I'm going to not stand here anymore. So let's do that first. Uh, uh, but da -da -da. I'm going to go here. Uh, I'm going to misty step. So, okay. Uh, and then I'm here and... I am going to, uh, fuck. I don't love any of these. I'm gonna go ahead and have, sorry, I just closed my thing. Um, you gotta stop doing that. I know. That's a tiny screen, man. Give me a break. I'm gonna have, uh, I don't know. Let's have Pog attack the shitty ghoul. Okay. Could Pog break the window? Oh, wait, actually, yeah. Can feel about Pog? Do we think Pog can attack a window and break it? I mean, a window is going to have half glass, so oh, it's yeah. just going to be based on how much damage you do to the glass. I'm just saying, hypothetically speaking, Pog's going to go check out the window, actually. Okay. So is he 60 feet away from the window? Can yeah. you do this all in one shot? Yeah. yeah just Pog get to, zips yeah. right up to the window, and then like, everything sucks, break the window telepathically. <laughs> and he is Gosh. like, Got it, boss. And he little dragon attacks the window okay. in whatever fashion. Which which you deem which one the attacks you're gonna do with him? I don't know. What do I got? Uh, um, um, he'll hit it. He'll okay. bite it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. You <laughs> That's can, really. You can just grab his teeth against it and kind of scrape it open. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I mean, it otherwise has, it, has, can it shoot has an AC and has it. health. So just uh, same okay, with any yeah. other. So, yeah. He's Go gonna bite it. it. Sure. Go for it. He's gonna okay. What do I just click bite? Just click yeah, bite. he hits it. Nineteen. He, hits. 19. He's no super focused. Uh, he does six uh, damage to the window. You see a crack. He's got, <laughs> He's got tiny teeth. A crack forms, but it doesn't smash. Okay. Does he get? What does he just get? One attack? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. But okay, he's up there. He's ready. He's out the window. Is that your turn? Yep. That's it. Okay. Uh, Hiroshi is going to step up, move around here, and he's going to take his three whip attacks towards the knight. <laughs> that misses. That misses. All three miss. He just kind of clinks them off yeah. the armor. You see him kind of hold away. And he says, this one needs to burn to die. Timothy. Uh, can I get down the list, like, everybody's health? Full. Full. <clears throat> Zero. Soon to take some. If that 17 out of 85. Okay. What are your fulls? <laughs> Full. 85. 70. 71. Mm. Uh, I have 50 out of 150. Oh, this is so many people. 50 out of 150. 17 out of 85. You're both full. Basil's at zero. What's your max health, Basil? Seventy-one. And what was what was your two, Fabia and Adelward's max health? Ninety-one. Um, my current max health is seventy. It's normally eighty-two, but I have whatever oh, it is that hit yeah. me. Yeah, the gross. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so only five. Oh, it's five is still good. Uh, actually, I could target. I don't remember his name. This guy. Target him with it to heal him as well, since he's not too mm -hmm. good. Yeah, so I'll, I'm going to do another mass healing word. Yep. Uh, this one's sticking at third level. I want to save my last fourth level slot. Okay. Four. Eleven more. 
Okay, nice. Make it. This is stressful, Thank man. You. See the kind of radiant energy shoot out. So you're hitting Basil as well, yeah? Yeah. So you're Yay. lying down on the ground. You're still prone, but you have 11 healing as it comes back. Okay, perfect. Whew. Uh, I'm going to do another, since that's a bonus action, another sacred flame towards shield guy. I'll try to get him for out of here. Uh, uh, you back. go for it. Yeah. <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> you tell him. <laughs> it's a really low roll. He fails. Just Come on. Whittling him down. Take him out. Uh, 12. Still a decent roll. Yeah, you see the radiant energy burn against him. He gets <laughs> his healing factor being reduced for now. Um, okay. Anything else? I'm going to move right here. Add award. Edward's going to look up at the window and note the crack that was just made by the small little dragon. Mm -hmm. He's also going to note that right now he's attached by a harpoon to the vampire lady that is on fire. Okay. And all the water beneath the cradle. And he is going to cast fall on himself and reorient gravity towards the window. Keep okay. in mind that when I break 60 feet of distance with my harpoon, she will be pulled with me. Because that's the maximum length of the water. Hell yeah. Hell okay. yeah. But for the duration of the first part of this fall, I'm going to fall at full speed towards a partly broken window <laughs> and hope that I smash through it with my character's body weight, even at the uh, cost of damage. It's going to be real cringe if you just hit it and slide down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe I'm in you. Fall, I, in, I fall at terminal velocity, and that is a window that <laughs> took a, it just has a second that a tiny dragon smacked it. I'm assuming this window isn't made to handle basically a cannonball, so I should just blast right through it and pull this lady out of the room with me. So. We'll see. <laughs> so. Oh, God. You will fall very fast. Because it's essentially you just thought you are going to just reach terminal velocity pretty quickly, especially because you're heavy. Um. First of all, go ahead and roll a straight strength check for me to begin with. A strength check? Just to like... You're curling up to hit against the window. 14. Okay. I was only going to set the DC low. You hook onto her. <sighs> Suddenly, she starts falling as well, and you're pulled straight towards the window. You hook her up. You smash against the glass. You hear it shatter and burst outward. So she's attached 60 feet behind, right? Yes. You fall straight out the window. You've now moved about 70 or so feet, right? Uh, are you doing anything during your turn while she fall? Am I directly over water? As soon as you smash at the window, yes. I'm going to use my bonus action to sever the line if she's also over water with me. And I am going to use, since it's not action to use it, I'm going to use my gliding cloak to keep myself from falling. Okay. So I'm just going to do mental <laughs> math. Okay. Okay. So your gliding cloak is, is not an action. It's just a free It's not an action. Sure. As long as I'm not incapacitated, I can use it indefinitely. Okay. And I'm assuming, since I'm since I'm assuming that the window is on a big wall and we sort of fell diagonally, I'm at a height that I could sort of glide back towards the window. Yeah, because you had to go upwards from where to I get was. To the window. I would guess so. Uh, you gotta like hook a huge. If not, I would be glide. I would be attempting to glide to the cradle. You could to a place you could glide into grab. the cradle, and you'd get up here in like a couple of rounds, or like you'd you'd skip around and then sprint up here. I would say. Okay, I would I would also say that. Uh, if I've currently dropped this lady above open water, I'm going to sort of glide in a circle to see what she does. Okay. Uh, I want to observe this. You see, so you you suddenly see in front of you, Scald, suddenly the reel pulls taut and she just falls. And it's weird for her because she's technically, her, her gravity's not changed. So she's kind of getting dragged along again. She gets pulled all the way out and then kind of smashes through the window as well, hitting against the bottom of it. Curling around, um, you will also take a tiny bit of bludgeoning damage from going through the window, which would just be a D8. Yeah. Four points of bludgeoning damage. Um, and she looks up at you, confused for a moment. You cut it. 
into the water. Um. Okay. Just go and you're not on the map. Um. You can continue gliding. I mean, it gets to her turn. I'll explain what she does. Okay. Okay. So Mart is now out of the room. Amazing. The Night Lord. <laughs> it's like, that was so cool. <laughs> I was just kidding around, guys. Um, is... <laughs> oh, why? You guys are great. You fucking sucked. <laughs> I'm gonna Looks join back you guys. over his shoulder. He's gonna stab backwards towards uh, you once, Basil, for 14 to hit. Uh, bro, yeah, that hurts. <laughs> no. <laughs> bro? Eight points <laughs> of slashing on, and five points of necrotic. So I'm third. down! Just Why? cuts Why? you down. <laughs> god, this is sad. Oh my god. I can't watch. Can Wait, can you keep doing the orc thing? I mean, no, it's once no, per long rest. Rest. God damn it. Steps up to Hirosh well, to stab him. Which is a 16 oh to him, God. and... Zamakos is 17. He just manages to bring up his two radiant whips and just catches the blade before it hits him and then pushes away. Kind of meekly. On Marta's turn. Okay, here we go. Give me a second, I've got to read her shit. She dies. She explodes, she's dead. <laughs> she's gone, girl. Cheer. It's fine. See, a couple bubbles come out of the water. She repents. She feels really bad about her life yeah, choices. Yeah. yeah, her hand comes out of the water like this. <laughs> like, one middle finger comes up. Um. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing on your turn, I'm huh? Come on! Uh, that's good, that's good. Okay. You see us start swimming towards the side. But you can see her skin clearly, visibly burning off. Ooh. And for the first time, you're just seeing this kind of desperate swim. Um, she goes 60 feet across the water. And she's dashing and swimming as fast as she can. And takes 20 can points I... of damage. I would definitely she had relay shit. this. Oh, well. If they could hear my voice, Adelward would relay that she's still alive in the water. Dying. I mean, this is still huge. This is space created. Um, this is the Terminator. This is some breathing. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Someone who could hear that, uh, go ahead, Fabio, roll a perception check for hearing. Pog could hear it too. He's up by the window. That's true. Pog could probably hear it. 22. Oof. 22 would nice just hear roll. it. You just managed to hear what's going on outside. What do you? What's the message you shout? Uh, that she's alive, but dying. She's taken a lot of damage. And uh, it looks like the water is like part of the damage, right? Or is it just the fall that looks like she took? No, you can see it's almost like she's swimming in lava to her. It's this weird sight of like, we can see it's, she's visibly, like visibly like steaming in the water around her, trying to move across it. And, uh, and it's causing an immense amount of pain. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. I blah. Uh Okay. I cheer. Basil is unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, I don't cheer. Basil For smalls. the third time. Fabio <laughs> goes, Basil would really love this. <laughs> <laughs> Pour one out for my boy. <laughs> oh, boy, Basil. Um, <sighs> yeah, this one's going to turn straight towards you, Timothy. That's and what I want. Take a bite. 15 to hit. <clears throat> No. <clears throat> and a claw. Oh, 20. 17. Just clings and no. bites off your armor. Fabia, top of the round. Um, this dude's got a bunch of people around him now. I'll mm -hmm. shoot this guy, I guess. I'm up high, so I don't get disadvantage, right? Yep. Uh, no. Yeah. What's your range? Yeah, range is like 60 feet, isn't it? Yeah, like the ceiling's only like 40 feet high. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're good. You don't get disadvantage. Oh, God, these rolls oh, of 14. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it just misses. It, you see it clink off his armor. Shit, dude. Um, okay. <laughs> that was 
about to say, will you allow me to pretend I didn't roll that at advantage since it was, a, it was the first roll anyway, and then I could just jump on this bitch, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'll stay where I am. Okay, okay. Uh, Aaron. Uh, I mean, Aaron's not doing so good. Uh, oh, I could do dart throws. Uh, yeah, I'll try to hit the guy Fabia attempted to. Uh, I know darts are short. It's 20? Yeah, 20 feet for not disadvantage. One, two, three, four. Okay, he'll throw darts. Okay. Uh, you know, for RP purposes, this would be a better spot because that's a lot of people in the way. Okay. Go for it. And you throwing these at the, the goo at the top? The red guy, yeah. Yep. 27, 26. That's hit. Nine and eight. Eight. Seventeen Decent points of damage. Dart. Yeah. You just kind of throw him. You see him kind of stick underneath the armor, finding weak spots. And he's going to step back. Uh, That's all he'll do. Okay, Basil scolds on deck. Hmm, going to roll for a death save. That's I believe true. in you. Well, that's a failure. That's one failure. Hmm. Hmm. It's okay. Let's go. It's okay. Uh, after following her, she got dragged away. His eyes would settle on the the ghoul, and he'll take his frustrations out. Okay. The ghoul seeing Blazel lying on the floor. Does a sixteen hit? Uh, the the guy next to you. Mm hmm. Does not. Seventeen doesn't hit. This guy's fucking Five. invincible. Just like that's what twenty-nine. That does hit. So it's like twenty-one Finally. bludgeoning damage. Kill, kill him. <laughs> yeah, honestly, kill him dead. <laughs> At least down, please. You slam him. It's exactly how much health you need to knock him down, because okay. he took radiant damage <sighs> okay, since his okay. last turn. He remains down, sizzling, and dead. Nice, yes. Fuck you. Go with the final blow. We'll leave the mole like resting on his body just in case he tries to get back up. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll look around. <laughs> how much trouble left we have the fight. <laughs> I know. He's lost it. What's going on? Fear. Okay, so the only thing left in here right now is the ghoul, right? Yes, in this room. Can we hazard a guess at all how long it's going to take Marta to get back in here? Um, the river, in terms of its width, is probably about... Let me visualize it. I, I imagine about... And look here. Oh, one sec. Just want to get the math right on this. Probably around just over 300 feet. So uh, she's going to have to swim around... Probably three turns to get out of the water. At the end of her third turn. Maybe just at the beginning of her fourth turn. And then she's got to get up here? Yes. Okay. It'd probably be quicker for us to go down and... Yeah, right. <laughs> Wait. We should I'm, meet her. Pl I'm planning on cutting her off before she can get to shore. Yeah, okay. Um. All right. I am going to... Oops. Just do I'm... harpoon her again and drop her off in the middle again. Yeah, I mean, right. Dude, listen. <laughs> There's some like <laughs> uh, I'm gonna Just pop down it. here and uh as I do so I am going to firebolt the ghoul. Okay. Uh but I should probably click that to see <laughs> if it hits. Whoops. Uh ugh, 14. Doesn't hit, I'm afraid. 
Yeah, thanks. They figured that one out. It's cool. Just dash down there, leaping down. And like, he's just doing his job, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> Great. It's fantastic. Uh, and then, um, I guess... Yeah, I don't know. I uh, Pog's going to fly out the window and try to, like, keep an eye on and help Edelward keep an eye on what's going on so he can... Okay. Yeah, you're kind of getting like, the visualization of Pog. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm like, she's a bad swimmer. Hiroshi's going to look really down, know. walk towards you, and cast Cure Wounds. <gasps> uh, you heal for nine points of healing. Thank God. As always, he places his hand on you. sigh of relief. And he nine stands points up. of healing? Nine points of healing. <gasps> oh, thank you. And then he's going to step back around and kind of ready for a fight. Is my angle. <laughs> Timothy, you're on deck out of water. Okay. Now that things have slowed down, I could I could do some slower heals. Uh, I'm going to walk away and take an attack of op from him first, so he doesn't okay. do it after I get my thing up. Um, He's going to go for a bite then. That's <laughs> a nat one. Going to bite straight into the air. Hits your, hits, he hits your shield, and you just see one of the one of the teeth splinters and drops. And goes, ah! Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, uh, then I'm going to stand here and get an aura of vitality up. Actually, I'll stand here. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm guessing Basil is still the lowest. At, like, yeah, 9 something. out of 71 right now. So the first one will go towards Basil. Thank you. Okay. 4. 13 healing. Nice, thank you. Nice. And that's all. Add a ward. Edelward is going to how how she's so she's frantically swimming towards the shore right now. Yes, you know? and he sees where she's swimming to. Yeah. Okay. Are there any like rocks jutting out from the shore or anything that aren't that are closer to Edelward than going all the way to the shore that he could reach her by as she like passes? Um, I'd say there's a few jutting ones in the water. It's mostly cleared from where she's got from because it's, it's ship water. Um. Probably closer to the, the shore, uh, you'd find okay. some. Well, uh, we're both like hundreds of feet away from the shore still, yeah? She's about 100 feet on the shore. Okay. And, How far away am I? Because uh, it's about 160 to the middle of both sides. About 170 on both sides. She's about 110. Uh, you would have been 50 feet up. So you glided out maybe an extra 30 feet. Um, you're probably maybe like... 30 feet behind her, so you're about 140 feet away from the shore. Okay. Uh, well, I can move 60 a turn. Uh, yes. How fast? She's a, how, how much she's distance? Moving, she's moving 60 feet a turn as well. Okay. Fuck. I need to be able to beat her to the shore to feel safe cutting her off. Yeah. Mm. But, mm, I wonder. We've sort of established that my spear has uh, sort of fucked up aspects when it comes to touching water. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, could you just electrocute the water she's in? the water near her. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Go for a... Uh, go <laughs> ahead and throw it. it. Fish that way, so. dude, um, well, way to kill yourself, dude. I respect this. <laughs> so you're, you're dropping your blade, aren't you? I'm dropping my weapon. Yeah. Okay. Go into ahead. Like, sort of like a bomb into yeah. the water near her. Go ahead and uh, do an attack roll. Okay. 16. Uh, 16 is hits. Nice. Okay, uh, then uh, damage, 9. And I'm guessing we're thundermongering this as well. Yeah, in fact, I think I'll only take the thundermonger damage because you're pretty okay, much hitting yeah, near right. her. True, true, true. 14. 14 points of damage. Okay. Yes. Hold on. Uh, you see it burning and then you just see the kind of water ripple, which just... <laughs> Harrison trying to swim. Uh, I am also going to then recall the spear back into my hand with my bonus action because I casted bond item on it. Before. Oh, you did. Yes, That's you did right. indeed. Battle. You oh see my God. And I'm going to continue to glide over her to do it again. Okay. <laughs> on my next turn. Just okay. dive bombing. I um, like it. She's going to move 60 feet. She's just paddling fast. And you would hear in your head, um, fear. Mm-hmm. 
Her mind kind of reaches out to yours and she says, Protect me. Save me. I'll tell you what happened to Cassell. Please. Can I respond? Yes. Before I respond, can uh, Pog send me an image of how rough it looks for her at this moment? Oh, there's this like, almost like boiling water around her from the amount she's sizzling and breaking apart in the water. You see oh. pieces of her just kind of dropping off, almost just like burning away from her. Okay. Um, sure, I'll respond. Um... I know what happened to Cassell. He's my father. I just talked to him the other day. It feels pretty good that you're dying right now. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. Back in the Lord's chamber. The ghoul knight is going to turn towards you, Skull. I'm going for a bite, which is a nat 20. Reroll it. I, I, I know I never touch, touch, I never touch the damage because I'm waiting for it. <laughs> which is now a nat 1. Uh, you just see, you completely oh altered it. God. The other two snaps off. He just like stands there with these two kind of broken fangs. Goes in for a claw attack. That's a 22 to hit. Does um, it. 15 points of slashing damage. Ooh. Uh, please make a con save as well. Yes, sir. Um, 13. You're good. You pretty much just have to roll net one on that. All right, Fabia. Yeah. Um, I shoot. Go for it. Please. Of course. I can't believe these rolls, dude. Fuck. It's worse that the damage also rolls. Because yeah. then you know exactly you what you could have gotten. You can, you can turn that off. Oh I God. turned it off, yeah, so I don't have to see. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely turn it off by default. That's somewhere out there in an alternate reality right now. There's a Dodger that's having the best time of our life. God, there's a Fabio who's just <laughs> yeah. absolutely crushing it. Aaron. Uh, I mean, it's just him left. I think Aaron's going to go ham. Go for it. Fuck yeah. Aaron. Or Beat his ass. Yeah. Oh, which character sheet is this? I have so many. <laughs> One, two. 26, 26. Both hit. Nice. nice. Fuck. Fuck it up, Aaron. It is going to go for the two arm arm strikes as well. 13. Okay. That is his last key roll. Okay, they're sure. both 18, hit. 18, 26. Yep. Yeah. And then also do ahead and roll that d20. I think it's on a Holy six or lower. Shit. Another 17. Nice. On a six or lower, I think it's... Uh... Okay. Okay. Ten. Um... The balance of equilibrium kind of swirls around. You do the two slams. Okay, anything else? Uh, he's going to stay here. Okay. Basil. All right. Um, so it'll be half your movement speed to get back up. Okay, I will get back up. Yep. Um, and then I am going to try to put... Actually, I can't. Shoot, there's too many people around. Um... I guess I'm going to try to throw a hand axe at Go the guy. It. Cool. I haven't done that. this in a while. You know, uh, it's 20 to hit. 20 oh. hits, yeah. Three damage. <laughs> Three slashing damage, nice. Just he cuts against his cheek. A bit of blood pulls out. Okay. Awesome. Uh, and I'm going to give a bardic inspiration to Fabia. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby is just up there, just like, man, this sucks. And then just feels a little 
A little warm. Uh, yeah. Is there a musical <laughs> note would come up? <laughs> yeah. A little like it could be worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even yeah, I could yeah. do this, just it could be worse. <laughs> yeah. Uh you see the ghouls just kind of looking in all directions now, desperately. Cornered. Scold, your turn. Figures on deck. Where is this? Is this this guy? Just that guy left. Um, Mush. I will hit him with the mole in his face. For okay. 10 bludgeoning, 22 Ten. to hit. Uh, bludgeoning. Yeah, that hits. And then again. A hit. 18 to hit. Yeah. For 20 bludgeoning. Okay. Yeah, he's looking roughed up. You smack him twice. Ooh. Then a 17 for 12 bludgeoning. One more hit would probably do it for him. You see, you knock him, and he's kind of standing, barely holding the glaive in his hand. Just give up. <laughs> and snarls up at you. Fear. Um. Okay, I'll firebolt him. Okay, go for it. Maybe. Uh, an 18. 18 20. hits? Uh, 20. <sighs> Firebolt shoots up as you kind of leap up there. Ripples against him. You just see it kind of burn. <laughs> and drops to the ground, burning, smoldering, and dead. Yeah. So, mm. I want to do one other thing. Yeah? Um, I'm going to have Pog be within range of Marta. A melee range? Because you uh, wouldn't be no, able to no, make no, it. No, 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 okay. no. Telepathic range, okay. which is like 100 feet. And he's going to just send her images of what she looks like drowning with her flesh Ooh. melting away. What the fuck? Oh. <gasps> Holy okay. shit. That's pretty fucking metal. Okay. Man, you were good once. <laughs> <laughs> Red dragon. <laughs> you just see... And she kind of looks up, not like realizing the perspective, can't even think about it right now. Knowing that she's close to the shore. Um, we'll go through these turns quickly. Uh, Hirosh is going to just go around and make sure any of the bodies are dead. Timothy, anything you're doing? Yeah, uh, another proc of Aura Vitality on, on Fia. Fia's not doing so well. I'm not. Four. 13 healing. Sweet, thank you. Finally, then. It's a very make or break turn. Gliding above. Weapon now soaked but burning with its electricity. What would you like to do, Adward? He is going to do the same thing again and drop the spear. It'll be half damage if it he... misses. Okay. 13. So, so it just uh, misses. That'll be 10 damage. Your lightning goes in. You were just a buffer. By the end of a turn, did you kind of pull, I'm guessing you call it back up as well and you're still gliding yes. over. You see it doesn't hit near her, it burns her just slightly. And she just swims as hard as she can. Manages to grip the side of the shore. And just managed to drag herself up. She's extremely wounded. Okay. She ends her How turn. How high am I? Uh, yep. Sorry, I like because um, I'm assuming we're close enough to the shore that I sort of have an option of where I choose to like yeah. land as we're doing this. So I'm, How uh, high above her was I? Uh, so you were drifting 30 feet back, launching it forward um, about 50 feet. About. Okay, so that gives me enough to sort of glide a little bit. I don't want to be next to her, all right? I want, okay. to be like, I want to be like 60, like 50, 60 feet away from her down the shore in either direction. I do not want to be, hey, what's up? And then land like two feet from her. Just, just as, a, as a question, wave. is anyone going to go after them? Or do you just want to do tomatoes and Marta's turn? 
There is a Vasir chance. I'll get one more heal at least, just in case. There is a Vasir chance that Tomato scuffs it somehow entirely and is, the rolls are against him. That he will be well, alone. But. Yeah. Fia would not want to. She looks incredibly yeah. injured, right? Leave him alone. She's incredibly would... injured, yeah. I have guaranteed damage skills. Fia so at I least would start think to. It would be move very hard for me to scuff it right now. Yeah. Unless she charms me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. But I still have intellect things. Stab your own self, not me. <laughs> um, we'll go through the turn order quickly then. Fabio, is there anything you want to do? You're muted, Dukes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for telling me so early. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to run down and then, uh, yeah, start making my way toward the window. Um, because I still have spider climb, so I can like yes. climb out the window and run down along the building. Okay. You dash out of the building. Okay. Yeah. So I'll move as far as I can that way. Aaron. Uh, there's honestly nothing Aaron can do. Aaron stands by Timmy and waits. Basil. Uh, I would probably stay up here too, just because I've been going down so much. So. Skull. Dodd will run for the shore. Okay. You're going to have to... How are you going to get down there? Uh, how far's the drop? From the docks underneath? About 50 feet. And then it's a 180-foot swim, pretty much. Or 170-foot swim. Okay, I have an I Wait. You're giant. That won't work. I mean, I can not be giant. If you Reduce. can... If you, if you cannot be giant, uh, I was going to um, Dimension Door. And I can take you, but I think we realized I can't take you when you're in giant form. I can only take you when you're in usual scold size. That's true. Yeah. You talking is a free action. Let it me know. Action, yeah. Do you want to go down there? Yeah. Okay, you got to be small. Let's go. Well, is he? Magic. He's already started walking for like the window. <laughs> he's I telling me he's go to like goes, grab uh, his hand, like to pull. Okay. He's confused. He shrinks. He'll he'll, he'll <laughs> release giant's might. Okay. Shrink down. I got five hundred feet, so we'll get as however far yeah, we need no, to get. You, make can, it you can get straight to the shore where she is. Okay. She's been going on a horizontal path, so you appear on the shore next to her. Okay. We'll just okay. use this. We'll just use this blocking here as a kind of a, a sense of the shore. Um, so she'd have just made it onto the shore. You pff, appear ahead of her. Um, Hirosh is. Uh, he'll cast a. Uh, his last slot, which is a mass cure wounds. Oh. And he'll do it on. I think pretty much everyone who's left in the room now. Uh, I missed the mass cure wounds. No, I was just like, oh, <laughs> um, 3d8. Mm. You do it, anyone who's around him now, gather them up. Uh, everyone in this room pretty much gets 22 more healing. Ooh, thank you. Uh, that was actually a really good roll of it. Uh, yeah. Six, seven, and six. Uh, Timothy. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll walk. Uh, he's just going to walk <laughs> to the stairs at this point. <laughs> <gasps> okay. Three, four, five. Uh, can I use Aaron's leftover movement to walk with him? Since sure. This is like one turn. Sure. You guys are not in any danger at the moment anyway. Okay. Wait, do you have the broom? Oh. I don't know. Skull has that. Remember, he flew it up. Oh, oh yeah. Adam. How close am I to her? Um. Eighty feet away. So fifty feet up, thirty feet. All right, I'm going to use my movement, which is 60, uh, because of my glide, and I'm going to land close enough to mm -hmm. uh, be within 30 feet. Okay. And once I'm there, I will harpoon attack. Okay. Go for it. For 12. <sighs> it misses. Well, it just I, goes past. I can still devastating blast. That's true, you can. Uh, which means I will immediately, automatically do 50% of whatever that damage is. Okay, 11 points of damage. The lightning bursts out. 
and you can see as she's on the shore now, it bursts and her body starts breaking apart. You realize she starts taking into turn into a mist. It. She's not currently in water. She is at zero HP right now. Anything else you want to do? Uh, my move action, I didn't technically use a bonus because uh, my move is 60 when I'm in the air. Okay. Um, I will bonus action reel in. I don't think there's anything else I can do. So, uh, yeah, that'll be it. Okay. Um... On her turn, she's immediately going to move down the shore. Let me put myself where, like, I would sort of estimate it'd be if this line was yeah. a shore, I guess. Yeah, like right there. Um, what's up? Yeah. She's going to straight move. 60 feet. Just, just mist and cloud rippling through the air trying to escape away from you. She doesn't know I have another cast of fall. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know, dude. She doesn't know. <laughs> Fabia. Pepe laugh. Whose turn is it? Fabia. Mm, okay. It's mine. I didn't yeah. know if everything was done and. Fabia! <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, can I see them? Can I see her? From yeah, it's I a couple am? hundred feet away, so it's it's small. But um, you can see the kind of makeshift on the on the shore. Um, can How I many use hundred feet? You say within three hundred I... feet. That feels very specific. Oh, well, is she you within have? 300 feet? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 180 feet away. So about 180 feet each, each side of the river. The talking's a free action, yeah? Yep. Okay, then I would tell Fabia, just tell me what direction she's in. Because I can't see. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Uh... <laughs> Thanks, guys. Actually, wait a minute. If Sorry. Fab... I've... Oh. I need 25 feet. She can't dash while she's in that mist form, so she's only 30 feet away. Even she's only 30, 30 feet away from me? From them. Outside. From them. She's all the way on the shore. Oh. She's 180 feet away from the building. She swam you all the way. You guys are a couple turns shore. away. Yeah, you guys are quite far away. She made it all the way to the shoreline. You guys are still on the crater. Um, okay. So I'm outside of the building. I'm going to use cunning action and get 70 feet closer to her. Okay. Are you, maybe you're up on 50 feet in the air on the side of the cradle. Right, but I'm running along the bottom of the cradle, right? Your cradle hangs in the sky over the water. Right. So. I guess I'm having trouble visualizing how far I got initially. Did I, Am I already all the way on the bottom of this thing? <laughs> if you're on the bottom of the cradle, you still got the 50 foot drop to the water. Cause she's, it, you're, you're hanging over a river. Right. So if you're gonna are you gonna jump into the water and then swim? Can I can I not get any closer to her while staying on the building? <laughs> uh, you could run up and go across the chain, I guess. The closest chain to her. Sure. Because you're you're currently Whatever on the side works. of a building. And she's on the right. shoreline on the other side of the river. She didn't swim okay. onto any like I can't visualize bit. it. I trust you. Get me closer to her, Joe. <laughs> I'll, I'll say you can run up and get up the, the chain. Yeah, you're, you're, you're now on the chain. Okay, great. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Oh. Um, how close would I be then if I'm 70 feet closer? Like still a little um, over 100 feet away, right? Yeah, about 100, or... 150 feet away. Okay. Shoot. So this is a disadvantage, but I'll still try it. Okay. Might as well. Uh, a 14. Uh, 14 technically hits. Great. Uh, no sneak, but 
13 damage. An arrow flies all the way from the cradle. It's into it. You see it burst through the mist. It kind of cuts into it. You see the mist spiral, but it doesn't seem to be affected. Shoot. Oh, God. Okay, that's my turn. And it, has Aaron or Basil do anything up in the cradle? Uh, <laughs> Not that he can do, just follow Timmy. Yeah, I would start following if, if they were going down too. Okay. Skull. Yeah. <sighs> I don't think I can earth and grasp like mist. Not with that attitude. I have, an, I have an idea. I guess I'll try an earth and grass mist. Okay. What save is that? Uh, it's a strength save. Okay, there's advantage to this. It's a 19. Hand comes up. And she pulls away from it. Well, curse under his breath, and then I guess run after the mist. Okay. Uh, so I'll move 30. Yep. Fear. That's my turn. Okay. Um, how, how big is the mist? I had taken up the full slot. It's like her whole body's like burnt it's into like, like her actual, size. Yeah, she's a moving kind of cloud of just like small pieces and just kind of like ash. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm sure this will not do anything, but here's what I would like to have happen. Mm hmm. I am going to... Let me double check the wording on that. Um... <laughs> so stupid. Okay. I... Oh, let's try this. We'll see if this works. Basically, what I would like to do is uh, <laughs> shoot a fireball around, like in the space of the right. I'm just gonna okay. set the mist yeah. on fire. Okay, go for it. Um, what to attack? And I would like to uh, go ahead and um, we'll do that. I don't know. We'll do it subtly so that we can shadow fell shard it. Okay. So that the mist has disadvantage on the save. A fireball? A fireball. A fireball, okay. Yep. Um, so, like, she can't even move, you know what I mean? Like, it's 40. Yeah, it's no, huge, it. right? She can't, yeah. like. Yeah, so let's do that. And then this will ignore if she has a resistance to it, because it's the first time I'm doing fire this round. Okay. So that's my theory. Um, okay. Go ahead and roll the damage. Okay, so hold on. It's if you don't have a sheet open, I'll, I'll speed things up. Yeah. The fire burns through. It's and when it fades, lagged. the mist is still there unharmed. Oh okay. my god. I have a plan. Another plan. Yeah, that's what I thought. I have a plan. I have plans. Arthur. 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 <laughs> a man with many plans. Okay. Um, okay. yeah, okay. I figured. Not moving? Uh, I'm gonna follow for sure. And can I... Oh, I can't do it on that. Never mind, I can't do that on that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'll just follow. Okay. Hirosh will probably just follow Timothy. Timothy, what are you doing in your turn? Um, since I'm guessing Fabia didn't hear Timmy, he's just going to blindly control water to the west where the window was that they flew out, and send a massive wave all the way to shore. 
So it's the range and control range, water? Just 300 feet, yeah. 300 feet and then control water doesn't need vision of the water. It's just any Ooh. water within range. So you're just going to send a massive wave to the west. Oh, shit. And you're choosing the water near her. Yeah, because the window was west, so he's just going to push it west. Come on, Tim Tam. It was over the dry land. The big brain man. <laughs> I'm just double checking. You feel the water erupt. You can just feel it in the distance. You don't need to. You don't need to see it at all. No. It's just it says the exact phrasing is, uh, you control any freestanding water inside an area you choose within 300 feet, which is the range. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. A wave bursts out just in front of you guys. You see the mist try and react as it slams across it. The body reforms in it. As it drags out, you see the No, no, not like this, not like that. And her breath gets caught in her throat as her body burns into the water and drifts nice. out into the river. Nice, nice. Holy Marta. shit, nice job, Shane. Nice, Shane. Flash oh, was to use the, the spirit whetstone and try to like, Cat, like hit her soul instead. Oh yeah. I mean, good. Oh, interesting. Series of big brain moves. Yeah, guys. And you stand with the burning, smoldering body. The skeleton of her kind of burning away. Everything burning to ash. Lost in the river. And in the flow of it. That's where we'll go ahead and take a five-minute break. Yes. <laughs> we were done. I... Well Holy earned fuck. break. Joe, yeah, did, my gosh. did you see my plan coming? Did you? <laughs> I, no, I didn't. I, I was trying to think. I was like, because tomorrow before the, before the before the thing chat was saying that he had a big plan. I was like, I know he wanted to grab the shield. Maybe it's time to do the <laughs> shield. And then as soon as you mentioned the glass, I was like, about let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, if you have thunder damage, she'd done just a couple bit more points of damage. She had two health left. Um, and if she'd oh died in the river, she would have died. So getting to the yeah. shore just to manage... And uh, the way a vampire works is if she got to her place of resting within two hours, she's she paralyzed fine, for now right? and then heals up. Yeah. yeah. It it's probably better that she died on the shore rather than everyone getting to the shore and Adam were just shrugging. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, we'll go ahead and take a, uh, a few minute yeah. break and uh, we'll come back. And see. All right, epic. Sounds the cute. Great. Next. All right, we're back. Thank you very much, chat, for watching. Uh, this is just a halfway point. We'll uh, take a short break now. Um, as they killed their first vampire, that thing was about to fly up into the air. I have to add more art to this. If your art hasn't been added to the reel and you've, you've dropped some fan art recently, go ahead and just tag me in a little post. So throw it in the, the Clips and Art channel and just say, put this in the thing. I need to set up the reel and put some more art right at the front of it. Um, thank you for everyone who does draw fan art. Um, that was kind of a, uh, that was a close call. That was a close call, but they, uh, they managed to take it on. And now, cradled by the sea, and all of Southern Wolfguard is no longer under the threat of a vampire. Go and enjoy your five minute break.
Okay. I'll start bringing these guys back up. Let them know. All right, I bring you guys back up. I just talk about the thing. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um. And. Okay. Yeah. No, that was very clutch. I didn't know if you guys would be able to get her into water. Or sunlight. It, yeah. I mean, it only. I think that kind of technique only works specifically because she was you know, of similar weight class in me. If I tried to use that move on anyone that was heavier than Adelward, <laughs> it would have just looked really stupid. <laughs> fair. Yeah, that's no, fair. The, um, uh, she, uh, the other phase you guys didn't see is if she had actually collapsed it, she would have taken dire shark blood to hold off against the water for a little bit, but she, uh, Oh yeah. You guys Wait, is that the one we stole? Um, no, you smashed the other oh, one. She... It's cause she didn't break the chain. So she didn't fall into the water. Mm. Uh, that would have been a different phase entirely. Um, so, no breeze AFK. Yeah. So. You guys up in the throne room. We're well, down by the shore to begin with. You stand there and just watch her uh, get washed away, burning into the river. The three of you just down on the shore. In the distance, Fabio, you can kind of see it. And to be fair, Fabio, it's probably to be proud. You just hit a, a shot of like 160 feet away whilst dangling off of a chain into mist. That's pretty badass. Timothy and whatnot, you're in. <laughs> I, prob- <laughs> I just realized I was muted. Um, I feel like I probably shot and it didn't fully, you know, because of technically how fast rounds actually are probably didn't fully sink in like oh i didn't actually hit her but my celebration was so short-lived because then she just got devoured by water <laughs> yeah that would only happen like a couple of seconds afterwards you would have seen the arrow go, yeah. and <laughs> been like yeah oh fuck <laughs> what are you guys doing down on the shore if he is immediately gonna run over to like where she was ish mm-hmm to make sure that there's like nothing left of her. Seems to be destroyed entirely. Um. Should I? I'm gonna take out Tack. Mm hmm. And for flavor, I would like to, um, minor illusion. Mm hmm her drowning in the water. And then I would like to open up Tack and I'm gonna send a message to my dad. Okay. Um, so that he can see it, right? So like a visual message, so he can yeah. see the minor illusion. Um, I'm gonna be like, Just killed Marta. Feels really good. No sign of her sire yet. Freed Fairfax. Remember what I sent. They'll try to reclaim the Deadlands. Unless it should be 25. You'd see your father kind of respond. And he's in his dining hall. You see his face, and he looks paler than before. And he sits back. The image of him being shown to you through tack. Never let vengeance consume you. You did not kill Marta. You just killed all that was wrong with her. Marta died long ago. May she rest peacefully now. 
I think Discord broke. So they didn't hear that chat. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Fucking Discord. <laughs> Look at the faces of everyone locked on. Let's restart the call. One second, chat. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are we... Is it working? Or is... One second, chat. It's saying RTC connecting. Give me a moment, chat. We'll, uh, I'll try and fix this. Have to wait for them to change the region. Um, let's go for US East. Uh, one second, chat. Discord's having issues. Uh, okay. Is that working? I think oh. so. Is it really laggy, though? It looks really laggy. Choppy, but... <laughs> oh, it might be coming back. Discord's struggling. That's because we're, like, now we're in, like, Europe. Oh, Discord's having some major issues, chat. We're just going to go ahead and... I'll mute up for a second whilst we try and work out. Okay. Should be good yeah, now, right? Should be okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The streams are sketchy, but I can at least hear people. That's what matters. Yeah. Okay. Discord just being a bitch. What did you hear? You said, <laughs> like, vengeance. don't let vengeance consume you yeah. and then hard and freeze. Then paused forever. Okay. <laughs> he continues after that. Marta died. Long ago, all you killed was what was left of her, the worst of her. She has been put to rest. I don't feel joy in it. performed a mercy and it cuts off I'm gonna close tack and uh, as I do uh, I'm gonna look at Pog who's now drifted down and say you really should have called my mother instead I'll just turn around Pog just nuzzles against you and lands on your shoulder At a wooden scold, you're walking down the shore. Or well, you're at the shore where she died as well. <laughs> so Just killed her. I ordered would uh, walk up. So that was your, uh... Just killed your sister, huh? That was your sister? Adelward doesn't know anything about these Yeah! <laughs> Scold's gonna go, wait, <laughs> that, wait, that was your sister? Is that your sister? <laughs> <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Not like... Yes, she was, but sort of not really. I'm going to just, like, clap them both on, like, their arms slash shoulders, whatever, and just be like, yeah. <laughs> just Con smile. Congrats. Or I'm sorry for your loss. I'm not sure how to read the room <laughs> You know what? She sucked when we were kids, and she was always good at everything, Everything came easy to her, and she lorded it over me all the time that I overthought things, and I was too slow, and I was too cautious. And she just got wiped away by a giant fucking wave after we beat her ass for a while, and I'm standing right here. Also, she killed my uncle and 
was oh, next like, time trying to kill my that. dad. Lead with that one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she saw. Uh, like, I mean, it wasn't just <laughs> like just sounding like God's a nodding. psychopath. He's on his phone <laughs> and he's or nodding. That he just, we just killed this person because fear was mad that they were better than the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't really known you that. Yeah, she killed my uncle. Yeah, like she did right. suck. It wasn't just like I'm not like that bad. Right. Jealousy is a terrible motivator. Hmm. She killed my uncle. I'll lead with that part next time. <laughs> I mean, the fact that you didn't lead with it kind of indicates was, it wasn't I, the most I, important. I thought element. I said that part already. I thought you guys already all knew that. <laughs> I, we didn't even know this was your sister. I'm gonna be. I mean, I don't know. you said Where it. I am I, right now. I don't listen to you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Don't mention it. He'll like slap her on the back and just start heading back up to it's the like room. Stumble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're gonna you're gonna take the the broomstick to get up up there. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, we'll fly back. He up. just gets on the little with broomstick the, and just slowly, like, <laughs> like just slowly, like leaves the view. <laughs> Wait, I'll have to try and hitch a ride with Edelward. Are, are you so sure? Get back up there. <laughs> Hey, can can I like hang on your harpoon? Does that work? I feel like it's mandatory anyone that tries to fly when he's using fall should have to take some kind of saving throw to yeah, see if they can it's, even hold Because it's not designed and it's pretty goddamn Yeah, it's it's also gonna <laughs> affect the flight, it's affecting his glide. Fly. Imagine a, uh, like essentially like a like one of those gliding suits if someone was hanging off it with a rope. It's real it's a real dodgy way to fly. Um <laughs> go ahead and make a if we make it an ability check, that would be better than a saving throw, I'm just saying. It's going to be an athletics no check. <laughs> okay. Because it's basically <laughs> holding on to a horrible rope whilst uh, oh poor Outer World's going to have you. I feel like chat would really like to know that, uh, have it confirmed that strength is my dump step. So what did you roll? <laughs> a four, <laughs> but I'm going to spend a sword strength point Go ahead, roll, roll it. it. <laughs> Wait, let me see how many surgery points I have left. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> I, wait, we have to cover something before this, Joe. This I is do? Wait, can I reroll it again? Oh, I have wait, one point. Oh, hold on. Wait, we have to, like, yeah. is the athletics check to decide, like, if she's hanging onto the rope, or is, is this the athletic check when she, if she's able to hold onto me during the fall? Because if we get 500 feet up and then she yeah. <laughs> because she fails the roll, then oh, she's going to fall 500 feet. This game's slippery. I saw Fabia do it earlier. She seemed fine. That's true. Oh, God. Yeah. I, I should... have special feet. I'll give you this then. <laughs> My brain. You know that My brain. if you try this full mover, because it's not really designed to be a flying thing for two people, yeah. the risk is that... <clears throat> You'll be falling I'll from a very... I'll just door back up there. There you go. There, that was so I, just wanna, I just want to do things to fall from becoming like a uh, super spell. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Because it, 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 I, I didn't think about it. I was thinking about you could just drop it midway, but no, you would be falling like all the way up and then... No, I'll just yeah, there, There's yeah, no like stop dangerous. the spell. It's 500 no matter what. And yeah. then... So it end. would be... You could do it, but you fail. <laughs> That's, that's I'm definitely going to have a conversation about doing it and then be like, yeah, no, I'll see you up there. Yeah, we're just going to look at like, like just size up your like muscles and you're like, just, <laughs> uh, I don't think so. He's going to fly away without even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do it because I dimension door. Um, <laughs> whilst you're, whilst you're all traveling back inside the throne room, um, Timothy, you would have <sighs> controlled it. Hope you hit the right area that you were kind of focusing on. I mean, Fabio. I think we still think the fight's going on, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Fabio, no you've just seen the wave take away and kill the, um, the vampire. Right. Um, is that all I've seen? And you would have seen them kind of moving around on the shore. They're still like 150 feet away from you, so it's quite far. Okay, yeah. I'll just, I'll like make my way back to the window and like see if everybody's still in there. And if they are, I'll be like, well, she's dead. And hop down. <laughs> That's great. I right. think I almost died. Oh, you did. You did almost die. Yeah. But you know. How can you be sure this, she's like, dead? Half dead. You know, like intense look. It suits you. You should do this more often. But thank you. Also, uh, is, sorry. What was your name? It gestures that angel guy. 
I'm Sir yeah. High Rush. Uh, okay, hi, I'm Basil. Thank you for healing me, by the way. Is, um, how can you be certain she's dead? Uh, looks at Fabia. <laughs> Uh, she was uh, hit by a couple waves of water and her body disintegrated into nothing. And everybody went over there and peered at her body and I think one of them was like dancing about it. So <laughs> pretty sure, pretty sure she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Maybe had a really awkward phone call with her dad. I don't know. I'm just speculating. I'm spitballing, but... Moments later, you would see as uh, Fear appears and then Scold lands, and then Edward glides in through the window. <clears throat> Irish steps up and kneels down in front of Fairfax, who's kind of a bit taken away. He's like slowly regaining himself and looking around the room. Yeah. He hey, buddy. Down to him. <clears throat> Alex le reaches a hand out. Irish kisses the finger. Yes. Oh. I failed you, my lord. What? Stand in the back. What a dick. Stands up, steps to one side. Stands beside, pretty weak still. Stands beside the lord's seat and uh, he glances across the entirety of you and goes, Who are you to break your way in here like that? You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Uh, you could start with a thank you, but maybe you're a little confused. Sorry, did you like her? She warped my mind. Of course. Yeah, right. that she sucked, so, right? Right, so you're we welcome. Agree. <laughs> kind of sits back. We were, um... We were actually looking for her. Sorry. You part of those silver torch? No. Independent. You think you... are gonna get some reward off me? You see her, Semga, my lord. They do has... Since you've been up here, has changed. Most of your people, many of them lived in fear. Many of them were turned. Many of them were dead. If it went on any longer, you'd have lost the entirety of the town. Kind of glances, <coughs> coughs into his hand. Very well. I suppose you've done me a great favor. Who are you? What do you call yourselves? Oh no, not this again. Actually, you might have heard of us. There's a song. Um, oh, yeah. That that can I play like I... a sped up preview of the song? I don't like music. That's your first problem. <laughs> That's a really good song. <sighs> <sighs> what is it then? Who are you? I'm playing. Um, That's well, us. The song. Yeah, we're the cock slayers. I'm not with Formerly them. known as the. I'm not with them either. I'm not with All them. Right. Right. The name's <laughs> under review. Yeah, we're 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 pen name pending. You know. They really go by that name. <laughs> I'll sort of like whisper to the one closest. It's going to like turn out on it's it's awful. It's really. Because <laughs> <laughs> we slayed cockatrices, okay? It's not it's not what you're thinking. Well, name pending, cock slayers, whatever you call yourself. <laughs> we just made the count say cock Sorry, that's <laughs> out of character. <laughs> she walled my mind, took over my town. 
You have saved it. What is it you want as a reward? Name it. Uh, well, a new boat for one, probably. Oh, yeah. Uh, Our boat was destroyed in the process of, you know, doing all yeah, of this. It's a ship. You, the ship. The sh <laughs> ship. The ship was, ship was just a big <sighs> ship was destroyed. Um, by cannons from, from here. Your here. cannons. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It was well. devastating. You want me um, to repair it or have it replaced? Repaired, right? Yeah, repair, because repair, yeah. it has a fundamental value, right? Yeah. 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 Repaired. Very well, but how big was the ship? It was, uh, Fia's going Tuna. to. Um. It was a what? Schooner. No, it was bigger than that. <laughs> and it's deception check. Bigger. Roll a deception <laughs> check. It should be like, wait, this doesn't. How do we. <laughs> this? Roll a deception they're check. Repairing the you, ship. They're going to go they're see it. <laughs> no, so, so, so what Fia wants to do is be like. However many. I can't remember. Old G can't remember. Fia would. However many. Um, whatever we bought on the way, like cannons and shit, Fia's going to up that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, I forget how many we bought, right? But she's going to be like, yeah, remember. there were, like, two more. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're adding That's more to I... the schoonies. You're saying it's you're saying yeah. okay. Yeah, but I'm just trying to, like, be like, oh, it's really well stocked. Yeah, but it was, yeah, like, I thought you meant, like, house. making the boat larger. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not trying to, like, be like. Parts is yeah. suddenly just no. <laughs> no, no, Heart no, no, Bloom's no. like. <laughs> Bring it, teen. <laughs> what? No, I just want to add more ordinance to the whatever smart artillery we'll, we'll have it replaced and repaired what's the state of my town it looks well, down all the dead knights it there were there's a, a curfew um when we talked to people <laughs> in the tavern they thought that um they thought the soldiers of sunrise were attacking that's what they've been told ah. Crafty little one. Um, there were some. There was a a man on the because we saw a few other people with that same tabard as the dockmaster, right, Joe? Yes. So via would minor illusion that, like, there were these guys. Um, Harosh uh, whispers into the ear of Fairfax and he goes, Ah. Uh. Followers of the unborn, the god of death. Very well. Um, My people all vampires. Not all of them. A fair amount. But Probably. enough. <laughs> was... Um, was there someone else... With her? With Marta? Another another vampire? My memories are fleeting. Irish kind of steps and goes. None physically. She mentioned and one. She goaded over it. She mentioned one of our nobles here, near Lady Arlington. She left for distant shores many months ago. Never to return. She had business far off in the east. Iloma, most likely. Perhaps further. She goaded that she would no longer need her aid. In fact, she spoke often of her plan. I was... And looks down a little bit embarrassed and says, I was her filter. <clears throat> a lot of the blood she drank, she used through me. So she often 
think she took pleasure in the fact that I was one of the only ones that was not charmed by her. Would gloat. Everything she did, she did herself. Often when she spoke, she would talk about this Lady Arlington as saying it wasn't in the plan and mocking her. I believe she acted alone. I killed her once. A few of us did. And she only came back smarter. When she came back, she had half the town under a, under a heel. Or a lot of them. And they turned on me. As did my count. Maybe I was heading us. Oh, they have enough of the pity story. We all suffered at the hands of this creature. Your ship will be repaired. Anything else? <clears throat> Do we have everything above board? Do we have everything that we need to try and perform the rituals to bring the rest of the people back? I mean, not all of them. We don't have that many diamonds. How many diamonds you got, bitch? Yeah, right. How many do we have? Do we well, have a track? Um, there is another thing, actually. Uh, several of our crew were lost when the cannons, when Marta fired the cannons on the ship. Um, so we need some supplies to bring them back. Uh, I would count see, up, however, like is, I would. This is what it's about, Cyrus. They know of my diamond mine. All of them. <laughs> and you uh, see Harris looks down because my lord we would be dead without them. Oh. Just for the record, we didn't know about that. Yeah, we didn't we, know about that, but thank do. you for telling yeah. us. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Tell us more about diamond mine. So apparently mines. you got plenty, right? Is is my understanding now? Plenty for a cost. Also, for the record, we could just fucking take them, but we're asking you nicely. Yeah, I think the cost was getting rid of Marta and giving you your town I, back. Uh, I, I do think it's safe also, to say we kind of saved your town. Yes. And you. And the mines, if you want to go that far. And you know, mines. If you want to slippery slope this. <laughs> Trust me, they are well guarded. By vampire. How many of your people died? <laughs> God damn it. How many, how many are still dead? I'm trying to remember. How do we politely say only one that we care about? <laughs> uh, There's two that we care about left, right? I guess we'd say however many actually died. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how many died. Uh, Eleven we more. Okay. We, yeah, we may as well just... About a dozen. As I provide three, it's a lot of money. Acceptable. How many diamonds are in your mind? Like, just spitballing. Let's see. I just don't know a lot about mines. So I'm just curious. Yes, and I don't know a lot about politics either. Facts. Plenty. Enough that I <clears throat> am a valuable member of this fine nation. Uh, he kind of squeezes back into his chair. What's so funny? He looks at Are his you friends. <laughs> asking if it was worth the lives of nine of our crew to free you and your town from Marta? What a persuasion check. It's 
23. Nice. Spares me, Ruth. You did kill her. Yes, yeah, smiles. Provide a diamond for each of your people, but if it fails, I do not get any more. Nod. If I find these diamonds are being resold, sir, Irish coming says, then it is their goal to do as what they wish, my lord. I assume it's better to have these kind of people in our favor. He leans back. Uh. Um. Diamonds and repair your ship. Very well. Is that all? Looks at group. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Points at the broken chain. <laughs> His eyes kind of widen for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> she oh, broke yeah. that in the fight. There you is might some get property damage. That looked at. Also, the there's... You're stranded up here for a little while. The cables um, are broken, too. You got any adamantine? Uh, yeah. Irish looks in. I could purchase some. On the That's doors. a no. None on hand, but... If you'd like an order of it, we could potentially do that as a reward. No. No waiting around. I'm not, uh, I'm not really sure what it was about, since we're obviously not from here, but there's also, there was some kind of festival or something, go right? Wasn't there? If Irish not, I wouldn't down. say that, but I thought I remembered that. He looks up to him. Festival, I don't run festivals in my town. It was a, a sort of blood drive. Uh, a means of Bringing in exotic blood. To be filtered. I doubt that vessel will run any longer. We'll, we'll have the town cleared out. That uh, kind of leans back. Perhaps I should keep that one. <laughs> uh, would serve them right. Not protecting their lord. Irish kind of hangs his head in shame. Maggots, all of them. And if a creature like that managed to get into my town! <laughs> I think you'll find that many of them were charmed and potentially working against their will, much like you were. She tried it with us several times. It's not that easy to resist. Perhaps. Perhaps some of them were just cowards. I don't think that's very fair to say. Oh? Stick to fighting your better narrative than politics. Where are my armies? Oh. <laughs> 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 it <tugs> a color. <laughs> I don't is know. The, is, the, is the paladin guy stood next to him now, or is he still on our side? Like he's, he's next where to him. we are. He's next to him. He's kind of sad. It's a, <clears throat> kind of a concert. Do you mind if uh, you mind if I speak to uh, your knight here for a sec? Politics. Oh. <laughs> He's, back. He's gonna like walk like 20 feet away and put his arm. Scott's gonna put his arm around him. So, um, are you like sworn to this guy, or can we just and you just take over? He is oh, sworn. No, he's so <laughs> I've sworn because he's service. a dick. He, <laughs> he is struggled with age and all right. Just checking. 
I sure I respect it. He is. He, he doesn't let him finish. He just walks back. <laughs> you see, he's kind of. You can see he's clearly conflicted <laughs> by it, but he's sort of. Yeah. Um, Holy fuck. He returns to saying it. What did the bear thing have to say to you? Bear thing. He was complimenting us on our fine town. My lord. Yes. Ah. You're full of lies. <laughs> Well, a ship, diamonds. Is that it? Are we done here? Uh, just, I have one request. Um, just, uh, if you could exercise a little bit of kindness to your townspeople for what they just went through, I think that'd be pretty cool if you can do that. Politics again? What? The, you keep saying that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. You keep <laughs> trying to tell me how to govern my town. Uh, I mean, oh, they've yeah, just gone through forgot. a hardship. You've been, you've been governing it for a while now, huh? <laughs> it do, I don't... <sighs> Was it going well before she arrived? Skull to look at the knight and then realize he's overstepping and be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of in the position now where he's realizing, like, Man, he's I fucked if he stands guy. up to you guys. So he's kind of like, reluctantly kind of bowing his head, being like, I'm probably going to die in the next. No, that's minutes. why I asked him, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. I'll tell you what, as a final reward to you, I won't have them punished. You give me your word? Uh, words mean nothing. Oh, I have paper. We can we could write it out and sign it if you want a persuasion check. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's kind of more intimidation. Do intimidation. Oh, shit. You're essentially peer pressuring him into uh okay. into into <laughs> Can I aid that in any way? Yeah, go ahead and do it with advantage because you're kind of okay. uh and you also are surrounding him, and he's realizing... Oh, with advantage, it's a 22. Nice. I'll put it in paper that none of my townsfolk will be harmed unless they have been found to have been turned. Well, the vampires must die, of course. You agree with this? I mean, I... I, <sighs> I wish there was a way to, like, turn them back uh, that would be preferred but yes there's, there's a quick way to do it do that dwarf do the water thing <laughs> or lie them up on the shore i'll you pay you you have to tsunami the town oh my god, oh my god. not that full oh. town i'll bring them up to the shore line them up let them know never to cross <laughs> cross <laughs> me I don't. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> it sits back, just sick of my ears. Oh my Never. god. You can consider yourself guests of Greater by the Sea whenever you come by. Rooms will be made out to you in one of the fallen homes. Welcome to my fine town. Do you have any kids? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm literally just going thinking over to the exactly desk. Going right. around loot. Like, <laughs> Scott will do the same. Take like, over for this guy, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be a vampire <laughs> shield. Absolutely, right now he's gonna take it. Oh fuck. Yeah, you can take the shield. Yeah. Absolutely taking that shield. Um, you just see him kind of lean back. Uh, that shield belongs in Harshers. The knight is dead, my lord. He do not oh, require he's, any. He's very now. dead. He's back. Ugh. And a glass crush you have Yes. My lord, perhaps it's best you get some rest. You've had a hard time. We lead you to your bedchambers. He takes his hand, helps lean across to the room. As he kind of steps in, he closes the door behind, turns and walks down the steps towards you and says, Apologize for his demeanor. 
It's not your fault. Is there someone next in line? Like... <laughs> no. That's... It's not a surprise. Yeah. He's 135 years old. Oh, oh boy. They can't... <laughs> the gods favor him. Wait, so it, I'm not saying that we're going to, like, slap him in his sleep and kill him, but, like, <laughs> it when he dies, what's the plan? Yeah. We questioned it once. Um, a new count would be elected, perhaps, or... I know that these soldiers of Sunrise wish to create a deal so that they can take over the land, which all the other counts will vote on, which is likely to be favored. They don't really want to give them more power, but the counts will probably argue over the land. We'll see. But he was favored by the gods. Do you, do you really think the gods favor him, though? Like, yeah, he's would just it... been stuck, charmed for however long, sitting on his throne, drooling like an idiot. I've like, is that... Question my faith, but he has been resurrected six times. Oh, oh. my god. Many of his diamonds so go towards nice. his survival. Oh, ah. That I mean, is that really favored by the science? He just has that's a lot favored of by his own mind. mind. Yeah, that's He's just got being the rich. Spirit yeah. is strong. His what is he going to do when. Lucky. What's he going to do when. He has the diamonds, but no one else left with a connection that would try to bring him back. That is something to, I have not revealed to him. His clerics were killed. He had three of them. She made sure to kill them early enough. Mm. Makes sense. So, I imagine this is something we will be searching for. I think I, I shouldn't stay here. Point looks yeah. at group. We I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna. <clears throat> we're, well, we should. Yeah. There's... I mean, let's. So... Sorry. No. no it's... Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you. Stop. <laughs> Speak. I was just wondering what your plan is when he, you know. Personally, I would be free of my debt. So. I will leave. Um, where would Good. You, do you have somewhere to go? No. I kind of like it that way. I can vibe with that. Somewhere warmer. Yeah. If, um, when it happens, if you're, uh, if you're looking for something to do, you could leave a message for us at, um, Old Blue's Estate. Oh. A I'm old blue. Of... <laughs> no, actually. I'm just yeah. oh, oh, I'm not oh. old blue. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little I'm a little jokester. See, I apologize for not laughing. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it happens a fun. lot. <laughs> it wasn't funny. Alright, scold. You don't gotta rub it, it in. Oh, wait, just really really quick before we mm. peace out. Um uh, I, there's a bunch of empty houses in this town now. We got a huge crew. Is it going to be an issue if, like, we try and just find places for them to to stay while the ship's getting Not at all. Uh, though I would say we are... <clears throat> I'm going to have to find as many loyalists as I can and make sure that the town is safe. They're about to have a civil war. I'm going to, um, I'll grab Tension. Fabia. And pull Fabia aside. <laughs> um, if he's looking for loyalists, what if we try to like send a message to like the people on the rooftops or the urchins? Because those people probably aren't vampires. Like maybe they would. Like they wouldn't be vampires. I don't know if they'd be loyalists, but they might help kill the vampires in town. They're a bunch of kids, though. But I mean, you they know, could the get a message maybe to the. Idea. <laughs> yeah, or yeah, right. 
just you want to just get this guy a big old army of kids? No, 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 no. I'm that. saying no, no, no. <laughs> that would be great. No, I'm saying like soldiers. I'm saying just, just give them buckets of war. No, I'm saying they, they know run around. thing. They just know put them in water. The adults. Oh, right. they have information. That yeah, they could get a message to <laughs> yeah, actual okay. grown up, not right. Kid yeah, got it. <laughs> not a kid. Cut to army. a montage of a bunch not... of kids murdering vampires. <laughs> oh, <Yay>! Not <laughs> splashing water yeah, yeah. on vampires. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's really important oh. that people treat kids like they can make their own choices, but maybe not in this case. Maybe not we that one. Have yeah. them become part of yeah. an army. Maybe we'll not use that as an option i'm just saying that like maybe we could get a message to like if there's probably like a, a resistance or something right we could if you need help the soldiers sunrise are a couple of hours away good due east may i say as Come. well um my lord did not but you have truly saved this town my efforts will be pushed towards making sure these kind of things do not happen again the schooner you have would you like it to be improved Dramatically. Um, I mean, I think we would want to let yes. the captain Pre preserve what the ship used to be yes. like. We, but yeah, <laughs> we should probably have the captain consult on the repairs. Some ships were built, considering she kept out the visage of a time before. We could perhaps transfer some of the wood from that one to retain some of it and put it on a brigantine. A larger ship, <clears throat> of course. Ooh. That sounds good. Hey, where was um Vampire Lady staying? Because her sister would love to just look through her shit, I bet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she was my sister. She slept in the back room, not the room with the, the counter. In the old clerk's room. Would it be okay if we took a look? I see no problem with that at all. You just, uh, he looks to you, Edward. Did you say mm. the lineup has been destroyed? Oh, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> hmm. They may be building a ladder, but right now we are stranded here, unless you can fly or glide. I mean, there's rowboats. You can just row. Well, you'd have you'd to have fall. To fall. <laughs> For 50 feet before row. You'd have to, you'd have to, you'd have to <laughs> fall, then row. <laughs> I'll, I'll, he kind of shakes his wings off that you kind of unfold in his back ears. I'll head down to the town and see what I can do. Um, he looks across and looks up to you, Scold, and then first group. I am life you, bound to you want, Fairfax. Do you, uh, you want me to help you fix it? What's going on? I do not. Okay, <laughs> this is, this has gone on a long time. That's his. I'm leaving. It's not a permission. Oh, of he kind of looks across you, just kind of a little bit suspiciously. Oh English. yeah, no, the thing before, no, that's fine. It, uh, look, I respect oh, yeah. your choice. Insight check. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> run insight check. Scott will actually turn to the group and be like, "I told him we could kill the old man." But I'm kidding, know. but I'm gonna he's, roll it just for fun. He's very loyal, and I respect that, so we're just gonna leave it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wink. So yeah, no, no, we're I good. Can, I, can, I, can, I got a net one. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you, you, in fine. fact, you read him, Fear, and it seems like he wants you to kill him. Yeah. Uh, and you <laughs> see, I'm yeah. like, I just no. nod. Of course. And he heads downstairs. Yeah, we'll take care of him. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. There's not going to be <laughs> any problems here. <laughs> <laughs> so looks across you and heads down. <laughs> I wait till he I'm now him. incredibly confused. Him. Are we killing him or not? Because I, I, I could, I I he could stop his him. heart. He and said no. What? It seemed like he wanted us to. I don't. Also, he sucks. I really, you know, I didn't strike us for political assassination, but now that we're here, it's one thing to another. Probably like he's like a few days away from going like naturally that. at this rate. Well, no, because they'll just use a diamond. He ain't got no clerics. Yeah, it's that's right. We should get out of here. Yeah. You can't stay here. Let's go look in Marja's room, and then. All right, we need to get the diamonds first. Then you know we can't just do it now because you won't get nothing. Okay. Yes, then. I'm gonna go look in her room. Yeah, of course you are. 
<laughs> just start wrecking away. <laughs> decide about dispatching the old man after the boat's repaired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just an image of the sleeping old man waking up and just seeing a penguin with a stick. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I think I could just like make it look like he just died in his sleep. Let's I mean, just go. All right, can we just let's move on from this? Situation, <laughs> <shall> we? <laughs> we'll be here all day. Um, uh, okay, you enter. You enter into uh, Marta's room. You'll see it's kind of. You see, she's she's filled it with pillows. She's got it. She's turned it into a really comfortable little area with a fireplace. Um, she's got a four pillared bed with kind of drapes around it. Um, it looks like a lot of the pillows don't belong here. Like she's genuinely stolen them from the town. She's playing all around, turned into a really comfortable spot. She's got like artwork she's been doing that's been put on the wall herself quite arrogantly. It's not great. Um, and it's fire it looks like a kind uh, of a comfortable One of the place. paintings. You just see it kind of the, just like set it on fire. The water colors kind of melt down. Um, and it burns off. Um, go ahead and roll an investigation check if you want to look around here. I'll roll one, but I'm terrible at it. 18. The most valuable things you'd find from her is, yeah, go ahead. Um, you'd find that most of the valuables she kept would be like golden rings and uh, various pieces of jewelry, some goblets and, and, and whatnot, which have kind of small embedded gems in them. Overall, probably a quantity of like 150 to 200 gold in, in different jewels and um, rings and necklaces and bracelets. Mostly just that. Didn't seem to keep anything more worthwhile. Um, she didn't kind of collect magical items or anything like that. So it's nothing super special you can find, but a couple hundred gold's worth of, uh, of goblets and stuff, which you could steal. I'm going to take one of the uh, rings out. I'm going to tie it in one of my braids. Okay. I'm going to set the rest of the artwork on fire. Okay, you just oh, go through go burning off. all of her artwork. Yeah. Okay. Go on the main hallway. What's your next plan as a group? Timmy, the fuck out of Long here. Long rest oh, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Can we even get down without a long rest? I don't think we can. Uh, yeah. Edelward might take a little sweep around to see if there's any magical uh, items or things still lingering around from when the vampires were hanging out here. Go ahead. Roll an investigation check. I have... Skull's going to uh, walk over to the giant pile of pillows and just uh, <laughs> kick back and fall asleep. He's asleep immediately. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are Passing we going to sleep, sleep here? No, I mean, you don't have to. He's just chose to. This is it. I don't, do we have any way to get all of us down? I can take, I have enough, I can take one more person to mention door, but I don't know how we get everybody, like, we only have I broom. Look, if more. we want to make this convenient, Alward can fly to the fucking pirate thing with his last, actually, wait, no, I've used my last, no, I have a, I have a second level one still. I can go, well, technically go tell the, the crew that it's okay to come into town, I guess? I don't know. Do we think there's going to be like a fucking war that breaks out? Maybe the broom's I mean, just yeah. leaning. A lot of broom, vampire guards and shit. The broom's just leaning against the wall. I think multiple people can take the broom. If you want to. Up to a it. certain weight, right? Yeah. I think yeah, Joe said like four, two people like up to a certain weight. It's like 400 pounds, though. Mm -hmm. So, like, all of you could probably fit on it. You could do little trips back. You could just trip back and forth. Yeah, yeah. the chicken, mm -hmm. the seed, the fox kind of thing. Yeah. So I rolled a 15, Joe, um, to investigate the area. You'd search around, you'd find that it's uh, uh, lesser magical items. You'd find like plate plate on all of the, uh, on the on the night. You'd find this kind of scale mail on the uh, lesser ones. You'd find their, their blade, it's just a stylistic weapon. It's like a two-handed sword, but it's a glaive. Um, nothing super exceptional stands out in this room, though. It's mostly okay. just general loot. Okay, so just to double check what you guys are doing. So, Skull's asleep. Is that award going back to the camp to tell them, or? Uh, if it depends on what we want to tell Timmy? them. Do, Timmy, I mean, what do you, what do you want to do? He can relay and then go to sleep there. Like, he, he will definitely, I think, get there the fastest out of anyone in the group. Just because of how much distance he can travel. But, uh... 
if we think there's gonna be like a fight that breaks out in town, I think it'd be sort of kind of productive to be like, hey, well, let's get in town. Yeah, Come right. on, it's cool now. <laughs> I think they should probably stay there one more night because right now the town has no idea that she's dead and all the yeah. vampires are probably in disarray right. and shit. We may I'm as just, well just I'm rest hesitant here, about me staying but... here, though. Is yeah. The problem. Timmy, like, Timmy. Because he's you... going to learn within the next few hours that all of his clerics are dead and he knows that I am a cleric. All right. You wanna... Timmy, climb on. I'm going to take <laughs> We have the... We have the broom too, so a couple of us can take the broom. Yeah, yeah. can we just do we some back, back and forth with the broom until we all go yeah. back to yeah. our crew? It's like the fox, the chicken, and the yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you just all want to drift down there, everyone but Skull leaves Skull to rest in the comfortable <laughs> pillow room. Um, he's gonna wake up. You guys are just leaving Skull alone. <laughs> I mean, it'd be terrifying for anyone that doesn't know what's going on to walk up to that room and find a bear sleeping in there, polar bear. <laughs> um, you fly down, you head down to the camp. Uh, by the time you arrive, um, it would be late into the night. A couple hours have gone past. And uh, yeah, it's it's you see most of the camps asleep. A couple of them see you coming. One of them kind of whistles out. And... Um, they spot you as you kind of enter into the camp. Captain Hartbloom gets up. You can see she's been asleep, so she kind of comes up, rubbing her eyes. Um. Oh. Hello there. Uh, hey. Hey. Any luck? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Killed a vampire. She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good. Um, it is. So is that, does that mean, what does that mean? Oh, we can get the ship fixed. Do you yeah. want to bring it in instead? Do you want to like make it bigger? They think they could make it bigger. It's really nice how it is though. And if you didn't want to do that, I would totally understand. Well, it's kind of rubble as it is. Uh, yeah, it's true. Well, it's a little mumble under his breath. Oh, uh, uh, <gasps> only one condition. We get to paint it like a scarlet red, and we get to keep my flag. I like that. Yeah. Uh, but we got, we got a little bit of a problem, though. If we make it bigger, we're going to have to get more mm. crew. That's okay. True. <clears throat> and I don't know many people. are going to want to stay in this town after this. Yeah, I feel like maybe crew. some of the people in this town that feel really fucked over by vampires might want to leave. Yeah. So. Okay. I just have, I have another rule then. and I don't, I don't want any... Uh, vampires on the ship. No, 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 no. Yeah, you know what? I don't think they can be on the ship. Want to be on the ship after? Yeah, we, uh, we I think they. With it turns yeah. out when they touch water, they disintegrate. So I don't think it's any like of them lava. want Violently. to be on boats. I don't know what lava is, but that sounds you great. Want to see? <laughs> I can show you what it looked like. I don't. I, okay. <laughs> I am illusion it. I have no sense that this is not appropriate. Oh, that looks, that looks tasty. Oh, you mean, uh, you mean, did you minor illusion lava or her dying? No, I minor illusion to Marta, like, <laughs> oh, in the water. Oh, that's fucked up. I, didn't mean, I thought you were doing lava. This, like, yeah, no. Off. She has no sense right now. Like a maniac. Yeah. Yeah, she has no your, sense your right now has of what's, today. like, appropriate at all. She's insane. Oh, I thought you wanted to see her. I'm going to, like, wave it away. Yeah, I see her does it. I was like... I didn't want to see that. Don't ever show people well, that. No one wants to see I'm that. I'm sorry. I won't. She, she is kind of like, it was more of a, she added more to it than what it actually I'm going to mine her with the scarlet whistle would look like as a brigantine painted in red with the flag. Okay. okay, I like that. Um, <laughs> did, did you get any, did you, were you able to record me flying out the window with the vampire? <laughs> do you want to show friends that later? Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. That, that was Do you cool. want to see, do you want to see Edelwald fly? Ready to mine or illusion it? He looks at you. She says, she is. And she looks at Edward and then looks at him. You can fly. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not a big deal. It's so great. It's more like he falls upside down, really. She kind of like blushes really a little cool. bit. Oh. <laughs> oh, swell, you know. I didn't, I, I like the fact you're part of this group now, because you, you, yeah, I, they couldn't do any of that. Or at least I didn't know if they could. <laughs> He's None of us can fly. No, confirmed. Do you want to huh. see what Skull looked like flying? Oh. They don't I'm have getting any shot at too. I'm going to minor illusion Skull on the broomstick. 
No, that's just silly. That's for that's for cleaning and sweeping. Let's no, not... that really happened. No, that's really how he... I don't believe you. <laughs> Damn, well, you know that's just... <laughs> Roll a persuasion check with disadvantage. We just came in on the broom. <laughs> she, she doesn't believe it. <laughs> she didn't see you coming on the broom. Oh, that's true. She was asleep. All right, hold on. <clears throat> Sixteen. <laughs> she looks you, that's just silly. Um okay, well <laughs> if we've got a brigantine, that's great. Um uh, What's our plan now? Do we just get the ship repaired and whatnot? Or you we move some of the stuff over? Okay. Yeah, and if you feel comfy you know, you can stay in the town. We we double checked. So okay. But if you don't feel comfy with that or if you want to wait a couple days to see what the fallout of all this shit is going to be, that's also understandable. I know I'm a captain and leader, but uh, what would you recommend? <laughs> Waiting that tonight. That town is going like, to tear just, themselves Yeah, to probably shreds. wait. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to wait here anyway. It's going to so. be a bloodbath. <laughs> I'm not going to that town for a while. I, I wait here, but not because I'm scared of that, but, but mostly because I just, I think it might be, uh, some of the other ones might be scared. Yeah, you have yeah. to lead by example. Understandable. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> Big a shit. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for bad, telling me. Right? And uh, 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 what's your... What are you going to do after all this? After we get the ship repaired and whatnot? Uh, gosh. Well... Alawar's uh, desperate, like, looking around at you two and trying to see what you say next. I mean, Admitha said that we should go after the... They were in Fjordhelm. Ah, that's actually... I actually did have something I need to bring up, and mm, I didn't want to admit this, but there's only been one reason I've been traveling with you up until now. Found out you had a crew. I am stranded here, as you probably <laughs> noticed. And I was hoping stranded? I could enlist your help. Yeah, Adelward's going to point at uh, the captain. Oh. I have to return to Fjordhelm. With or without them, I have to return urgently. Eyes wide up. I've never been to Fjordhelm. Ooh. It's cold up well, there, Well, we right? should definitely go. Yeah, it's very cold. I mean, okay. it was cold it's here. It's so. colder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's colder. Cold. It's much colder up there. <laughs> you gotta get a hat like this. Pulls out your flap hat. <laughs> okay. Maybe you put we a feather can on it. get some clothing and, and take that new ship up to the, the cold north. Okay. Yeah. I'll get you there, Mr. Uh, uh, Birdman. Oh yeah. Alwar <laughs> isn't gonna correct them. He's gonna narrow his eyes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, and by the hey. way, Lug's doing great. He's all back <gasps> to better now. Good. Okay. That's so good to hear. Okay. Great. Right. Oh, we'll we'll wait for the shit. Okay. So. Can I, can I just grab Timmy for a second? Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, <laughs> while Shane's eating. Hey, <laughs> um, you know, if we go to Fjordhelm next, that's kind of like, it's like on the way to Crestfall. Like, like, do you, do we still want to try to find your, your mom? Try to figure out. I don't want to... Like, we could go to Fjordhelm first, and then, like, we're, I think we're, like, we're, like, right there, and we could just hop over and see if there's anything we could do, or we could find her. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of factors in play here that we still don't know is the problem. Like, how to get to the Plane of Souls. Yeah. Even if we get there, if we don't know how to get to the Plane of Souls, then we're just going to be standing there. Wasting time. Yeah. I just... I don't know. I was felt pretty glad when I actually found my mom, so... I, I don't... I just... I don't want to forget about it, is all. Like... I 
I think everybody... I don't know. Just say the word and everybody would go, is all I'm saying. I know. Like, you know they would go for you. I'll just say once we once we find out how, then I'll say the word. Okay. And we can try. All right. Okay. Now we can do a time lapse of how long to pass. What do you guys want to do for the next day or so? Oh, well, after we rest, I'm definitely not leaving this place, so. Okay. I'd want to use every day that we stay here. I want to use two attempts at a raised dead. If uh, if Timothy's doing that, Adelward can sort of pick up uh, the adamantine and continue that project. He's totally yeah. proficient in smithing. Yeah, yeah, which wouldn't take and, you long. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's something for him to do. Is anyone he heading back towards the town? Skull, there'd be a point actually. Like, you wake up in early afternoon. You can hear banging down the bottom, and you'd hear guards kind of start coming into the, the area and filing into the hall. And Hirosh will walk into your room and he goes, Oh, I didn't realize you were in here. We've managed to build a kind of scaffolding up to the tower. There's a way down. Nice. And, um,. Many of those who were charmed have broken free and remember. There are creatures that were somewhat still loyal to Marta, and we we took care of them. Most of the soldiers are fine. We're under rather a charm or following orders from a superior they were scared of. For the most part, the town seems liberated. But a few casualties, but not, not as many as we would have had without you. Um, I can't guarantee it's 100% safe yet. We are going from home to home, checking to see if any are hidden. But the word has it that since learning of the death of Marta and feeling it, many of them left, scattered. Happy for you. As I said to you, you saved many lives. Though, by the way you not fight, I imagine you hear that often. Well, there's a way down if you want it. All right. <laughs> and jokingly, he'll go, last chance for that offer. <laughs> as he's getting up off the pillows. <laughs> oh my god. I... I cannot accept, but... Hey, there well, was, uh... if it's any consolation, you should be next. I think you'd be good for it. Rather just retire. Good choice. <laughs> It'll, like, pat him on the shoulder and walk past and climb down the scaffold. All the guards, kind of, all the guards up there kind of look at you. Wait, would they past. remember me? Yeah. <laughs> And they kind of looked down a bit meekly, you know, a bit embarrassed because a lot of them were following orders to go after you and they realized you saved the town's like, you know, the heads. Yeah, Skull would, would like, you know, not a moment. Good work. Thank you. Enjoy the town. Shores now, etc. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Gonna... Okay. <laughs> you right, see, yeah. none of them want to make me. eye contact at all. <laughs> They're all just totally embarrassed. Um, and yeah, you'd head down the scaffolding, get your own robo, and manage to kind of pass across to the town. You'd see the town's full of life. People are kind of moving around. There's a pile of, like, burning, and it's mostly those weird kind of lung creatures. And mm, a couple yeah. of the other clearly vampire ones have kind of been burnt away. You can see, like, a few people are piling it. And there's this almost dark uh, bonding experience of people who are kind of realizing that they have don't have to live in fear anymore. So they're kind of, like happily next to kind of cheering over the fact that they've uh, crushed the vampire threat. The Scorching their sins. Exactly. But the town is most I'd, um, mm -hmm? I'd send a I'd send a message to Sada. I'll just write a little note mm -hmm. to her 
and send it, like, have Tech fly to her. Um, just to tell her that, like, since I had sent one before, yes. like, yo, they think that you guys are attacking the town. Just yes. to be like, here's what's going on. Okay. Um. Next. I need, I need food. Where can I find food? That would be Skull's first name. A hearty meal. In the town, you could you could go to um you would see tavern one of where we well no <laughs> that tavern you'd see has now been burnt to the ground. Oh no and uh you if you pass by it, people would tell you they killed the lead, they killed the tavern owner. Um oh, shit. he was a loyalist. Um you find another place, uh you'd find a, a kind of a smaller tavern. Um let me get its name. Uh, you'd find a smaller tavern called uh, The Wet Nurse's Lullaby. <laughs> and uh, it's run by a goblin couple. And you'd see as they come in. Um, the one behind the bar, she kind of like slicks back hair being it. Who are you? I mean, you're not from around here. I'm hungry. That's who I am. <laughs> you got coin? Really? He'll put like a handful of gold coins on the counter. You got food? We have food. <laughs> I mean, we didn't. But the other tavern did. <laughs> and she, uh, she nods uh, towards oh, her husband God. and goes, A banquet coming up. And he kind of slips into the back room. And they start cooking just up sit down. a huge meal. <laughs> And it's just all supplies they've taken. Knife and fork and wait. Yeah. <laughs> you, just, you just get course after course because they've, they've stolen a lot of food from the other tavern. The um, more they sell to me, the less like they have of stolen yeah, goods. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They're piling it off. It's great. They've, they didn't think they'd be able to get it off that quickly without being caught. So they're uh, helping. Yeah, Scott has no objection to them taking yeah, that food. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you have a hearty meal. Uh, there's a point when you're, whilst you're eating, um, where someone will come in flanked by a couple of guards and they walk over to you and they just put a bag on the table your payment and then heads out he'll just like pull the bag over is it diamonds i assume it is um 12 diamonds of a sizable kind of fortune it is a, this is right now this is a bag of six thousand gold worth holy um, fuck nice he'll pick up and stash it and keep eating Okay. Nods to the guard, thanks him. Of course, the next couple of days, you get a lot of work done on the adamantine armor. Um, you'd see a point where a large portion of the town, a good, like, maybe 90 people have come out to start working on the, on, um, the Scarlet Whistle. They start... Um, Captain Hartbloom kind of heads down there with them. Are the bodies she's... with... Do they bring the bodies to the town? They've or... got the bodies uh, at the camp still. That's okay. where everyone's staying, I assume, right? Because yeah, I'm not going to town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, um, so the skull would, skull would probably head out on the first day just to deliver the diamonds to the camp and then come back to town. Cool. And help them repair the ship. Yeah, you'd see they're kind of... Uh, Hubbloom's kind of directing them and, and uh, having portions of the ship. Like, I still like that bit there. I'd like that on there. <laughs> and then they kind of start kind of creating this almost amalgamation by putting like an extra body armor onto the ship, removing some of the planks and putting some of her ones in. Um... Kind of keeping that spirit up and it's brigantine sizable uh three sails it's got two decks uh of, of cannons um and it's a much bigger ship can hold a crew nice. probably up to like probably 120 um in total wow um, shit. that is awesome and it's a good sizable ship um filled with cannons. oh yeah <clears throat> we should probably if she hasn't gotten here yet, we should probably message Elfe and be yeah, like, actually, she hey, I know, we, we, I know we should yes. sent you a message really freaking you out about hard blue. Everything's fine now. <laughs> she she would have kept coming and she, there, she right? yeah, yeah, she she arrived when you, after you sent the message, she kind of still arrives and she goes, oh, I wanted to be here to help um, as best I could. Oh. And she, with along with Harpoon, would be the one kind of overseeing and kind of moving the pieces to it because she can just weave the wood. Um, so they start converting the brigantine over the next few days. Uh, you'd be pretty much 
probably half a day away from finishing your adamantine armor. Yeah, at a certain point, like... Adelward, while he's working on it, is just going to, like, realize, what the... who am I making this for? <laughs> it's going to be making it for Scold. And he's going to... Oh, no. How much... We we talked about at one point that there was, like, going to be leftover remains yes. of this. So, it can rather be that... Um, you can make two sets of armor. One plate... Uh, or two two sets of plate armor would be the, the kind of most use of it. Uh, you can make a set of plate, and then if you have leftover, you could make um, a shield would work. Uh, I think that's what Adelord would probably make, because sure. like the the shield that he picked up was like just a normal basic. Yes. Shield. So an adamantine shield, because really... they technically don't exist. The way I'm going to do it is um, uh, it will still work. Like you can't be critted, um, and yeah, no, it probably just work the same. Is this for the armor? It'll work the same. Or is it yeah. the shield? Well, yeah, he, what basically, yeah, Adelward's going to try to make something else because he's going to realize he's just making armor for, like, the one guy in the group he doesn't really <laughs> still yeah. get along with. He's like, what am I, what have I been doing the last four days? This is what we'll do. He's just been he's helping, trying, like, helping, yeah. helping me and Timothy make side. armor for me. Yeah. <laughs> with, with the adamantine shield, you can spend your reaction to cause a crit not to be crit. Um, so it would be less All so right. than an armor, uh, but you could make two of those shields. If you wanted to, so E.G. Timothy could have a shield as well if you wanted. Or it'll be two. Yeah, because I was gonna work on one afterwards, but we still had leftover. Yeah, well, he's so finished we the project he's on and sort of just acknowledged that he will also mm -hmm. be getting a bit of this adamantine, to, like set aside some for like that project. Yeah, I'll tell afterwards. you what. If you if you spend an extra day or, or so extra on top of that, and you take your time everywhere, I'll say you can finish up the um, the armor and get mostly the way through a shield, or depending on which one you want to do first. Uh. He, fin rather... he finished the armor first. He's not going to, okay. like, just be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it on the ground. It's not that much. So you asshole. finished the adamantine uh, plate armor, and you've probably got halfway through a shield. And it'll probably take okay. an extra few days with your with your speedy crafting to get two shields done. Um, Question. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm assuming the answer is no, but in town, is there any sort of, like temple slash church or library or anything like that um i feel like she probably would have not <laughs> she probably would no. have like gotten rid of those um okay. it's not really a place known for its book learning um yeah. and uh no churches okay or no like religious stations essentially how far how far are we overland from tithmore um, over land? Yeah. A day and a half? Okay, so I guess at... At some point while we're working on everything, I would say to the group, do we have plans to stop by Tithmore before we leave? Also, are we going to Fjordhelm after this? Is there somewhere else we want to go? Uh... Well, I guess I should put it this way. If we aren't going to Fjordhelm, it's been a pleasure. It really has. How, how do you think you're uh, going to get out of here? <laughs> I'll enlist some. I'll steal a boat. I'll do whatever else I have. <laughs> I have to return to Fjordhelm. Uh, I'd like to stop by Tithmore. I need to send a letter to Affy. Okay. Aww. Aww. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah, if if everybody wants to go, then then we could wait. Otherwise, we can go while the ship's being repaired. Oh, I want to make it clear that, like, the what I'm sort of saying is that, like, I don't want any, like, continental other detours. Like, if it's, yeah. like, here, and mm -hmm. it's like, oh, we're going to Tithmore, that's whatever. But, like, Adelward, like, doesn't want to be like, let's go, like, to a different continent and, like, <laughs> do, like, another adventure. <laughs> like, he's got to go. I just want to make sure that we can set up the teleportation circle. Um, mm, yeah. And That's I need important. to talk to them about that. So, like, if in order to save time, we could go while the ship is being repaired. Otherwise, we could wait if more people want to go. Um, Adelward, is there, like, is everything? Do you just miss I'm, home or is, like, shit going well, down at home? Let me put it like this. I am the one who protects my tribe. Oh. Without me, they would be devoured by people like him. And Alward's going to point over at Skull. 
I, I have never eaten one. I, like different guy. You got the wrong guy. <laughs> you got the wrong guy. He's, He's telling the truth. He's never. He has never eaten one. You got the wrong guy. Okay. They don't exactly. They don't exactly understand the danger they're in, like most of the other tribes in my. In my home. So if I'm gone and they don't know I'm gone, it's only a matter of time until. Wait, we can send them devour. a message. Can we? We can send you can send them a message and tell them that you're OK. You're just not there, at least. They may or may not know I'm with them. <laughs> Did you leave and not it's tell a whole, them? It's a whole <laughs> thing. Okay. Good thing it's going to be a long ship ride. You can tell us everything. <laughs> I told you that my sister killed my uncle. Is your uh, uncle dead? <sighs> My my tribe are sort of fuck ups. They're not exactly. They don't really understand the danger they've been in for a long time. And <laughs> we can go. Like you carry we can go to there. Fjolheim. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, and I okay. want to eat your tribe. <laughs> yeah. Good news is they won't be scared of you because they don't even know to be scared of you at this point. Oh, so. no. and they would be terrified of me. They would be absolutely terrified. Yeah, probably. Okay. Fjordhelm next. Just do we want to go to Tithmore while the ship's being built, or do we want to wait? While ship's being built, I feel like. Yeah. Unless someone from anyone from the crew would want anything for Tithmore, but. Yeah. Or any of you guys, but. I'd, I'd go with you to. It's like a more. grocery run. I don't need anything. Do I get some snacks? <laughs> a teleportation circle. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can fast travel there. Yeah. Um, Tithmore, you arrive at Tithmore. Whereabouts okay. are you going in Tithmore? Um, well, I'm going to go, now I forget where it was, but I'm going to go back to the, wherever had the teleportation, the academy, right? That had mm -hmm. the teleportation circle, because they were like, you got to talk to the boss to see if you can use it. Okay. And then, if they're separately, actually, I'll start, I'll just ask them, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you head over to the, um, the academy. And uh, you would see as they, you kind of get a let in um, and brought saying you have a kind of a meeting with, uh, with the one in charge. You hear his name is Archmage Mordvo. Okay. Coming to his office and you'd see a kind of a, a quite a, a frail old looking man um, with a single monocle. Um, his beard is kind of wispy and comes out spiky at the bottom. Um, and he's kind of, he's got the bald central of the head, but the hair around the sides, it kind of falls down. And he's wearing his kind of, um, kind of more glamorous, like, uh, like a, almost like a reddish brown robe that kind of flows to the ground. And he, he's got his quill in his hand and he marks off one other paper and rolls up to the side and looks, you know. Oh, hello. Who come in? Oh my. You're going to cover your left. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Fia wouldn't laugh, but I would. Uh, hello. Ah. Walks in. Yes, uh, Hi. you had a meeting with me, is that right? I, uh, yes. sorry, I didn't have your name book down, but uh, I've been losing so much papers recently. I, I assume that you are here to talk about the new parchments coming in. We will need, Oh, no. Uh, no, actually, I'm not. I'm sorry. Oh, no. ha, I've got my meetings crossed. I apologize. No, uh, what is it? Are you who? Who are you? I'm I'm Fia. This is Basil, um, and uh, we actually inquired about making use of your teleportation circle. Oh, I'm going to um, enroll in the school. Uh, fantastic. Uh, uh, well, you might be above the age of entry, but we can probably find a course or two to catch you up with the basics. <laughs> actually, we can't enroll. I understand. I would love you to. are. I, didn't start learning magic until I was 23 years old as well. Well, I can do and magic. I can, I can do stuff. Ah, yes, natural affinity to it. We need to hone it. I understand. You're looking to find yourselves into a course. So we have a few courses. No, um, I... We're just, okay. We're, uh, uh, we're... Nervous. We're understandable. on a job. No, 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 we're on a job. a very difficult thing to get We've into got, learning. No. We have uh, a lot of property. I would love if you would let her talk for just a second. Yeah. So we can oh, yes. So, I was. We've... 
uh, recently uh, moved into uh, become owners of Old Blues Estate, but we actually have a lot of business kind of all over the world. We're uh, travelers and uh, yeah, thanks. Um, the place is really nice, actually. We're not like looking it a lot. to purchase any more property right now. Tithmore is quite a no. sizable place for us to have our academy, but we no, appreciate... I don't want to. No, actually, so we are on a job. And I would like to be able to use the teleportation circle here if necessary so that we could get back to our home at the estate. Like, can we mm. rent it or pay, you know, somehow, like... Oh, huh. Do you know... Peculiar. Is that uh, possible? You, to, to rent the teleportation circle? Well, um, not, like, rent it, but just, like, if we need it and we use it, we could pay you a fee to, to use it now and then? Unorthodox. <laughs> um, I could. Perhaps... I do know how to do that. Like I, I, have, I do know some magic. I know how to. Yeah, I can do that. But, 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 but that is not the problem. Um, uh, see, the teleportation is uh, strictly for students. But perhaps we can come to a different sort of deal. We don't really need uh, g gold, but you always use more. What do you do for business? We're heroes. Yeah. You might have heard of us, actually. There's a song about us. <laughs> I've just... I have heard this one. Jolly tune. That's about you. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, very well, then, cock slaves. Uh, I could perhaps have a... Uh... <laughs> Almost basil so happily. <laughs> this, is, this is good news to me. Uh, perhaps you could um, occasionally come by and bring uh, various magical goods and we could do some form of uh, guest... Lecturing. You could perhaps I lecture to some of the huge. students who are. We have some students here who wish to become adventurers. <laughs> a dangerous lifestyle. You can come and tell them not to be. And uh, all the dangers of it and <laughs> show some of your magical artifacts off. And perhaps we can it's involve It's really them. dangerous. Yeah, we could. Yeah, I'd be fine doing that. Well, sure. well. Like, that would work for me. You. Uh, so, so you can be substitute uh, teachers here. Is that all right? When we're in town, right? When, when we happen to be Oh, yeah. Out. Like, if someone's out sick, we couldn't just stop what we were doing to come back. But oh. we could be, like, um, traveling uh, t teacher, traveling pro 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 professors. Well, then, uh, in that case, um, you will not have access to the, the, the faculty facilities. and uh, But but you sure. would be able to come on site. Um, we we'll have passes so you can come on site and use the teleportation circle. We would ask that you do not bring anything dangerous through it. Uh, any creatures that might monstrously devour our school or kill any of the students here. It would cause quite a kerfuffle uh, and nothing that might be cursed and cause all of the students to uh, become ghostly apparitions of themselves. <laughs> Never happened. Uh, but if you if you do wish to use the circle, of course, just be very cautious with it and make sure you're not being followed by any of your enemies there. Uh, is this all commendable to you? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Is that? Well, that's about, great. I've, I've got a bit of paperwork for you to sign, if you wish. Um, you cast a soft okay. spell, you see words appear over about 30 pieces of paper. So if you'd like to read through all of this and um, sign oh yourself gosh. at the bottom of each page, and then once well over it told you to, uh, here's the ink, he pushes it across. I'll, I'll be busy as well as you do that. I'm going to feel it 100% literally sit down and read the whole okay. contract. Takes you a good couple hours or so. Um, and eventually, yeah, it, it seems like it's mostly just there as like, there is a list of things not to bring into the portal, which it's probably about 16 of the pages. And it's just it's considerable, <laughs> like, it goes through all sorts of creatures, different magic items which have curses, uses examples. Uh, you're not allowed to come through it if you're on fire. You're not allowed to come through it if you're, if you're underwater. Uh, please don't use it. All this kind of stuff that might open up a, a, a gap to the astral plane or cause something dangerous to come through. Uh, other than that, though, it's mostly just there as an honorary role. Uh, you'd see that they've kind of got this position already locked down. Uh, but yeah, you can have access to it, and uh, and you get a little kind of signet, which can, you can use to show at the front door. Sweet. Yeah. Very well. Uh, well, happy adventuring out there. Thanks. I'm going to just go check out the... We're going to go look at the circle. If yes. So I can... Yeah. En enjoy it. <laughs> Okay, thanks. Happy learning. And he gets back to his uh, his work. Yeah, the uh, the teleportation circle is located on its own kind of tower. 
Um, not very high, more like a pavilion kind of tower that you have to walk around a... It's in the center of a courtyard, um, surrounded by kind of like grassy area in a park. Um, you walk up like a spiral staircase and get to this kind of gazebo area with a, a, a runic pattern drawn straight into the middle. Um, it's glowing a soft kind of like uh, bluish color. Um, has a series of different kind of arcanic runes on it. And yeah, it's a teleportation set. Okay, well, that cool. was easy. I think we're like, I think we're like professors. I mean, it kind of sounds like it, yeah. Well, say it specifically said you're not professors in the thing because <laughs> I think you refuse you know to take I, over many of, studies. You're guest lecturers. Uh, that's what it they kind do. of said that like we weren't, but like, <laughs> we probably shouldn't call ourselves that, but like, I'm going to think Professor it. Basil sounds pretty cool, but yeah. Did we just get jobs? <laughs> kind of, right? I'm really glad we said that they can't just call us and we would like pop over. Yeah, that, was... that would be bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to like, what do I, I have to like learn the sequence or whatever, right, Joe? I don't even know. I actually don't even know how this works. I just know no. that I have access to it. Uh, uh, no, the type. way that it works is uh, similar to like the teleport spell. Essentially, um, your familiarity with the signet is allowing you to kind of use it pretty easily. Perfect. You can teleport there now because it's a permanent location. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, you you have to use another teleportation circle or the teleport spell. Right, got it. Okay. That's cool. Very cool. <sighs> okay, sweet. Okay. I sort of wanted to... We should just go to the courier's office, right? I kind of wanted to ask around and see if anybody knows anything about, like, on Mythos and Garak and shit, but, like, nobody ever knows anything, and maybe it seems pointless to ask. We should just go to the courier's office. Everybody's always mm. like, those are stories yeah, for kids. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now, let's just go. On your way there as well, you would see... Um, you pass by Cadvens, and you'd see outside his house. Now, the small kind of rounded, um, very peculiar looking building with the kind of glass top. Uh, now has a much taller entrance. And is lined <laughs> with rubber um, that goes around to the ground. And uh, you'd see he's outside casting these kind of runic spells around the outside of it. Um, and you look as you go past and goes, Oh, hello there. You, you fixed it. Um, mostly, yeah. I've had to fly over. I had to fly all the way to Fjordhelm and fix it there first and come all the way back. That one's uh, done. I just need to make sure it works here. Right now, if you walked through it, you'd appear in Fjordhelm and just... Um, within a hundred miles or so of the location. Just have to pinpoint it down now. Oh. This is the intricate part. Where, um, where in Fjordhelm is your store, is your shop? Oh, uh, like, it, it's, it's in a small little town called Holm. Uh, it's, it's, uh, like a, hmm, hot springs, essentially. Um, quite a nice little place. Oh, okay. We're, uh, we're headed there next. So maybe by the time we get there, you'll have like have it fixed. Come on, buy, just... buy a new, new. I don't have any new stock in because I've been rather busy. Thanks to that um, <laughs> friend of yours. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but I have the stock that I had remaining and I'll look to get more. Um, it was a nice flight, so that's good. Um, but uh, you can fly. <laughs> of course. Like just with a spell, do you have like wing? Do you have a, do you have do you have your own broom? Perhaps his nose. Ah. Do you have something secret. cooler than a broom? A little cooler. And it's not one of those okay. damn carpets. I hate those things, and I refuse to sell them ever. The car? Why? Too much personality. Oh. <laughs> oh. Really? Yes, they're all assholes. Every oh. single one of them. Oh. Good to know. Well, keep. So, if we came across one, you wouldn't want to buy it. Absolutely not. We need more conversation did... with it. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. Well. <laughs> well, okay. Well. Good luck. Best of luck to you. Continue all right. We'll see you in your home. Yeah. You go and buy and try not to die. It's much <laughs> more dangerous up there than it is here. Oh, lots oh, of God. things to be eaten. Yes. 
Um, that's why I keep near the hot springs. Uh, okay. And he carries on going to his rooms. Um, yeah, you get to the careers office. Um, you'd see they've kind of, you know, uh, kind of a large aviary area where they've got all of the birds and whatnot. Um, someone's kind of feeding them. Uh, wearing a kind of a dark third coat, you'd see this half orc um, woman, and she kind of turns across to, around to you, Basil, and goes, "What do you need?" Uh, I have a I have a letter that needs to get to uh, uh, Carburn. Very well. Uh, oh, it's, uh, how how much would it be? Oh, just one silver piece. It's quite a distance. Oh. I, uh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Can you just make sure it gets there? It's going to get there, right? Like it. Well, we don't have any insurance policy, but most likely okay. my birds are good. They're fast. Okay. Okay. How how fast would it get there? Like how long does it take? I just don't really know. A few days of flying, and then. Huh. Cool. If it flies nonstop, it might take anywhere up to a few weeks. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, okay. Well, he's gonna hand that. it over, and as she that. goes to grab it, he's like still holding on to it as she tries to you take have to it. Give it to me if I'm gonna send it. I know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Takes it. All right. Just pops in this little bag, etc. Silver. Right. Appreciate it. Sorry. Carbon, and uh, I guess in the name and everything's on there. Yeah, uh, I, I think it, I think it put the name on there. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> <gasps> okay. Anything well, else you want to say? Thank send? you. Mm, no, that's all. Thank you. Anyway, goes back to business. All right. Is there anything else you want to do in Tithmore? I don't think so. Okay. Um. So you'd return. By the time you returned, at award, you finished. The first adamantine armor. Thick. Um, it is bulky and kind of well designed. Do you just would you do anything to to personalize it, or is it mostly just there for practicality? I don't think he'd do anything. He's not going to be wearing it. He doesn't care about how personalized <laughs> and stylized. He's not going to make a original Adel Ward. Okay, right. we're making it. We're making it as a group, aren't we? Well, he's been making a lot of it. You could go back and help him, of course, yeah. So you, yeah. Could, you could return help. I mean, sculpted inscribe runes and stuff. But he can do that after it's finished. He doesn't have to do it before. Okay. Um, Timothy, did you say you wanted to revive people? Yes, but once most people are back. Okay. Um, to speed up revival, all of the ones that you didn't know be a straight d20 uh mm -hmm. mostly as a way of um you you can aid each of those you can aid each of those but it won't be a full ritual um yeah it'll be like a free one for you just because you didn't have any f affiliation with them um but for duty you can do a full ritual contest once everyone's there you know the ship is ready to go um captain Hartbloom says to you all right well we're gonna sail around the northern side and and, and wrap around and then we'll get there and it shouldn't take us too long um, especially with the bigger ship, it's much faster, apparently. Okay. I'll meet you on the ship when you're ready, I suppose. And we've managed to get a few people from the from the town, but not too many. So we'll be a bit of a skeleton crew for the most part, but we'll get there. Okay. She heads back towards the ship, a lot of them pack up their things and head there. Is there anything you wanted to do before getting on the ship then? Did you want to do the resurrections? <coughs> yeah, we can try to get Judy back real quick. Okay. If possible. Okay. So you're initiating a ritual for Judy. Okay. So, once again, um, everyone... Who's around? Timothy steps up, crushes the diamond needed, and she breathes it in. We're now starting a ritual attempt. 
to resurrect. Who are the three that want to help towards the resurrection? I think we would probably do the same thing as before, right? And talk to Heartbloom and Halio and Try be like... Try to find out stuff about Judy that can help. Probably. Um, yeah, Heartbloom would have said to you... Um, well, she, you know she liked playing cards. <laughs> she did like her cards. Um, she... Like her cookie and her ingredients. Um, I believe she had a grandson she loved very much. Like over in, um, I think he's in Oldbridge Way. Hmm. We mostly kept to herself. I won't lie, she. It, it was hard to listen to her story, so we didn't really find out that much about her. <laughs> it's fair. Yeah. I mean, I find out about the grandson took about a day in itself. <laughs> okay. I wish we knew what the grandson looked like. Yeah. Um... Hmm. So, who wants to go first if you want to do any at all? It can just be a straight d20 roll. I could death save them through. Or it could be um, just one. What do you, how do we do the roll to the G, I for, now I for, oh, GM roll? Mm -hmm. um, or I'll try to... Uh, I guess I'll try to, um, how many days has it been? A good uh, few, several. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So refresh my memory. So when someone dies, there's all these like harbingers or whatever around them, right? On the plane of souls, trying to decide like who yes. gets them. Yes. Okay. Um... I don't want to fail this. I don't like the pressure. You don't um, have to. By the I way, guess, you don't yeah. have to do a, a so, one, because obviously, if you fail, the first one is free. If you want to use your strongest attempt to first one, you have no repercussions for doing one. Everyone after that, if you don't succeed, it does does make oh, the DC go up by one. It makes it harder. Yeah. Oh shit! You don't have to join in on the ritual. You yeah, have the potential so, chance of reducing it by three. When I was thinking, if you're going to one. join in, it should be something that you have yeah. a good. Yeah, it's meant to it's so, meant to be a sentimental way to, to help across the uh, the resurrection. We could we could try to appeal to her, but that's not like she's really in control of that necessarily, so that might not right be as big of an impact. We can try to appeal to the like harbingers around who are trying to take her and be like it's not you know like Please don't take her, like, please bring her, you know, please send her back. Um, Thea's not really re religious. She's not really going to pray to somebody, I don't think. And when you roll, you'll basically just tell me which school you want to roll and how you're going to try and justify it, essentially. As long as you're not saying, like, you know, I'm going to cast fireball and want persuasion or something, you know, as long as it, it makes <laughs> sense. Judy um, always loved fire. <laughs> uh, could um, could you technically press to digitate like the smell of her cooking? Is that like a possibility, Joe? Yeah. Okay, because I was gonna say someone could do that. Uh, Basil would probably try to ad lib a song about how she needs to come back to see her grandkid. Um, I cannot press to digitate. So. <laughs> uh, I think, Fia, if you wanted to do that, unless you have a different idea, actually, could I press to digitate while singing and playing the song, or no? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Cool. I'll I'll do that. What's that's what I would do then. I would okay. make the smell of her cooking and ad lib a song about how she needs to come back and cook for her grandkid and how good her cooking is and. 
Do you want to make that your first um, attempt? So the first what one, you, you can't think? have a penalty. It's rather just okay. it fails or it succeeds. Okay. Um, so if you want to go first. Okay. Um, so I'm just rolling a d20 to you and then adding... No, so, so oh. yes, you, you will. But would you prefer, if you think's fair, performance or mm -hmm. persuasion? I prefer performance. Okay. Go ahead and roll um, a d20 and add your performance. Okay. Plus 13. Okay. Does anyone want to add anything, contribute to the ritual? I went too, but I was going to go last if anyone okay. else is coming. Yeah, I have nothing that I can do, I don't think. I don't know who this person is, so I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I mean, it's I fair. That's it's fair. That's yeah. why I've not been getting involved in these resurrections. Yeah, it's not the, the sentimental type, dude. Um, I mean, I don't know. I can try the thing I was just saying and chat. I didn't I see, see it, so you have to tell me. No, not you. <laughs> <laughs> that was who's, not who's, which one's this for? Is this for Judy? Yeah. 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 The chef. The total chef. You made a face like you were thinking. Um. You got an idea, Sam? Scott would probably just say, you make good food and you have a sweetheart. Are you attempting to perform into the ritual? If I, if I, someone needs to. It's, it's a choice. So uh, the first one is Only free. three people are allowed to do it, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it. I got nothing of substance to add. Let one of the emotional party members do it. <laughs> okay. Um, you can appeal to gods, you can appeal to all sorts of stuff as well. I'll, uh... Who's the god of, like, uh, I don't know, sea voyages and shit like that? Um, one yeah, second. I'm forgetting my pantheon. Just double check, because uh, I know it's not, I don't think it's the one of Destiny. One sec. Um, sea voyages? Yeah. Aquiana. Oh, duh. Obviously. Okay, yeah. Um. All right, I guess Fia would try to persuade. Have a chat with Aquiana. Okay. Um. Judy was a, is an invaluable member of the crew. She kept us fed. Um, she's a stabilizing force on our voyage, on the voyage back, and then on the voyage back again. And it wasn't her fault that she died. Had nothing to do with her. She's in the wrong place at the wrong time, and we're about to leave on another voyage again. And I don't think her work is done. We need her. And we would really like you to send her back to us so that she can continue to sail. Go ahead and roll the d20 and add your persuasion. All right. Oh, Jesus. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where is my... Uh, plus 13. Okay. Your ritual's done. Did you want to add a third? Or not? Yeah, I was going to do the last one. Okay. Uh, For Lug, I... I did more of a medicine check because mm -hmm. I had sort of a wavering faith. But after my commune last time, uh, I'm going to side more with Somer on this one and try a religion tech. Uh, okay. But can I do it with wisdom? You can. Yeah. 
Because okay. it's appealing to, to somewhere instead of just like the knowledge yeah, so I'm gonna, really. I'm going to reach out to Somer specifically during this. Got to do this manually. Okay. Yeah. So, if I roll the 20, I can tell you, unfortunately, there are three failures. Damn. DC will be set at 12. So, I have to roll a 12 or higher. Take a screenshot. A magic fades into duty. You don't know if your words have reached her fear. You don't know if your song is the only thing in. Somewhere seems quiet. I feel like this is entirely down to just duty's spirit. Resisting or accepting death. The magic of the diamond seeps into her body, and it lies still. And she remains on the ground. Before. <laughs> oh my god. God. I rolled a 14. <gasps> Holy oh. fuck. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. And you see as she got do you breathe in she goes Really slowly <laughs> Amazing. Her eyes flicker open. The turtle lying on the ground slowly <laughs> lifts herself to a sinking position. I just had the most wonderful dream <laughs> about. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me we did this on the ship so she doesn't have to walk. Oh, my God. Oh, no, she <laughs> did this out in the open still. You, you, <laughs> she's walking back. Dimension door. Oh, no, she has fair. Yeah. <laughs> During the conversation, dimension door. Um, two things for speed then. Um, if you'd like to do the same roll you just did then, um, you do it. I'll, I'll roll d20 each time and I can tell you if they live and breathe. You get to decide how many times you do this. You can save some of the diamonds. You can try and risk everyone. It's up to you. I can only do one more today, but I think we should try two at least. Okay. So it'd be my last roll? Yeah. Yeah. Because you'll be the only one that's able to contribute. To yeah. Because they're kind of unknowns. Um, roll an 18. You survive. You see, <laughs> I got a bad roll. They come back to it. Yeah. Um, and you seem kind of lean up and they pass me. It's all my family. And he smiles to you and kind of like classy. And you see this kind of moment of comfort in... in both revival and knowing that there's something after the death room. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, do you want to do the rest of the bodies? Hmm. They are How protected many? from all decay still for a while, so we can bring them with us bring if them. we wanted to. Um, yeah. Can we it's do that? It's at a spot it? below deck, away from Yeah. Our... It's a big ship, so. Yeah. Yeah. Several decks. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do, do that. that. Okay. Jeez. So you transfer all of the bodies to the ship, find a nice safe space for them all. Um, it's a small crew. It does feel it feels a lot more empty. 
Uh, it doesn't feel like you're going to be able to fill the decks, but everyone gets their own little space. Um, it seems like it's you can maneuver it. Um, when you step onto the ship itself and you're you're kind of getting ready to set sail, um, Cradle is is mostly kind of fine. People are moving in and out. People kind of thank you as you get onto your ship um, and kind of give you a send off. Almost this kind of sorrow, embarrassment for what they did to the ship in the first place, but understanding that you know they're uh, they're on your side. Um, you get on, you'd see within the first couple of hours, duty's already starting to prepare a nice hearty meal. Captain Heartbloom is going around giving orders, trying to get people onto it, but you can see she's trying to sound stern in her voice, but there's always a smile then from seeing the size of the ship now and the excitement of setting uh, Sensei on it. Halio is kind of up there with Lug, and Lug is excitedly pulling at the much bigger helm now, and he's kind of excitedly just pulling it and, and, and almost like doing that thing that kids do where they kind of almost give their, like, in their imagination, starts going... Poof. <laughs> like pretending he's shooting the cannons and everything so cute. Um, nice. <laughs> and the crew get aboard captain heartboom looks across what's to you out and goes you've never been here before so i'll, I'll give you the, the chance to do this because i mean it's your idea to go to fuel home oh, i didn't tell him to set sail and you can call me scurvy dog and stuff if you like that's always fun let me just yell at them and tell them to set sail then yeah. that's it go in and yell at them they, they love being yelled at <laughs> Uh, all right. Edward is going to pull out his spear and swing it in the no. oh, no. incredibly loud sound of metal. Oh, no. Everyone's like, hold their ears. <laughs> all right, we're setting sail. <laughs> it's, it's very un. <laughs> what? It's ringing. I don't, what? I don't think they heard you. Oh, <laughs> it you takes like a good like five seconds like... before people will like come back to hear it. Yeah. Oh my god. Ah, did you say it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, you heard him. <laughs> Set sail. <laughs> and you just see they were going to go to their stations. Oh and my god, amazing. The Scarlet Whistle, now Brigantine, sails away from Cred Cradle by the sea. The Cradle's still hanging there. And most of its populace are alive. You rid yourselves of a vampire problem. And you leave, heading north. And then east, towards the cold shores and distant windy paths of Fjordhelm. And that is where we will end tonight's session. Nice. You know you've been in Wolfguard for half the campaign, by the way. Yeah. That's, That's so nice. And wow. That. And now you're finally leaving and heading to Now we're going pastures. somewhere colder. Well, we've been to yeah. three places. It makes sense that we've done yeah, one true. place yeah. per half. Yeah, you have, yeah. That's cool. There you go. There's, so. be, there's too much. There's too much lore in Fjordhelm. What do? What do <laughs> <laughs> like two yeah. of my characters are tied to That's it. That's true. There's gonna be a lot of stuff to, to <sighs> discover in Fjordhelm. Yeah. At least there's yeah. less populous, so you can travel around. Uh, and, and That's true. There'll be less towns. Um, but yeah, there you go. Episode sixty nine next week. Um, and, nice. Uh, nice. 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 Fjordhelm. Nice. And we get to go and explore some of the backstories of Adward, Skull and search for the lieutenants that have headed up to the cold wintry north so thank you very much everyone for playing as usual um we're gonna go ahead and wrap up there and we'll go ahead and do our shout outs and we'll start with mr tomato stream a tomato <laughs> on twitch mm -hmm. there it is that's not enough words dude what do you want? S like, sending do you want to, like what do you want from me <laughs> what do you want <laughs> <laughs> look you can find Tomato at twitch.tv slash tomato. He plays all manners of games. Like, that's literally like what he said. That's literally like, what he said. I got just, no, he didn't. He said, stream tomato. <laughs> that's, <laughs> like, that's, that's all true. you fucking all need. I would, I would go on Twitch and type tomato. Yeah. And then I'd be like, that was oh, keyword. there it is. Okay, like, fair right. <laughs> fair enough. Like, better. Is there anything? Dude, I get SEO. When, okay. when Joe okay, Googles I'm sorry, things, I'm sorry. Though, he Googles the entire question. He puts every word that's in the question. Thanks for calling me out on that. Um, well, I, I just have to make sure. Uh, okay. You put the question mark too. We'll, we'll, go, on, we'll go on to Sam, but you can find Tomato no, Twitch TV slash Tomato. I, no, I do. Um, <laughs> it's polite. <laughs> Sam. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Strippin. I'm going to be live right now. Cool. Playing Dark Souls. Come hang. Is Ooh. it that mod you were playing before? 
Yeah, it's like our finale. Is that it's why your like camera a... just went black and white? It's a yeah. Oh, it's that's a TTT quite cool. mod. Yeah, it's a TTT mod, so it's like we One call up every trailer. zone, and one of us is. Uh, assigned as a traitor and they get a bunch of spells to kill the others Fun. and they have to nice. win they have to kill the others before the boss dies to win so that's um, really cool yeah and if we if we clear the boss we win but they can even like sabotage us during the boss fight so it's oh it's that's fun. really nerve-wracking that's fun yeah um cool all right go and watch that and we'll wait into you uh Bribon. Hello, I'm Brie Bun. I do variety streams. I'm not super sure when my next stream is going to be, uh, but yeah, you can find me on Brie Bun, twitch.tv. Cool. It'll be variety. It'll be variety. <laughs> I can um, guarantee that much. Does anyone want to roleplay as Dex bonus today? Roger. Hi, guys. Yeah, let's hear it. I know. <laughs> hey, hey guys. Beats. I'm Dodger. Uh, if you want to check out my channel, I talk about my kid a lot and I do a new game every time I stream. So yeah, that's twitch.tv slash dexbonus. I don't know if she's finished Sherlock Holmes, so. Oh yeah. That might be also what she plays, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, go <laughs> and check her out. Um, and Shane. Hey, I'm Shane. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm streaming. I don't know how people plan their streams. I just decided when I want to play the day of, so uh, I guess fair. we'll see when tomorrow comes around. Cool. You wake up every day to see if there's a new randomizer thing, and then you're I like, do, I'll actually, do that. I do that. I have a bookmark. <laughs> yeah, I have the big list it. of randomizers bookmark. <laughs> it's weird, because I think everyone in this group has a game genre or like type that I associate them with. Like, Tomato <laughs> is the guy that finds those really small indie games, and then like turns a mountain into a molehill from like a tiny game he manages to find hours and hours of content sam is the kind of the more like he'll go for anything that that he's he's it's a, a masochist gamer right like he yeah. goes for anything that causes pain and then he put a thousand it's, hours into it's and, so true that it upsets me yeah <laughs> Bree is like story heavy story anything that make her cry kind of focus my cry on stream is that good shit <laughs> dodger's the roguelike one <laughs> Uh, Shane is the randomizer, randomizer mod man. Kid. Yeah, yeah, the one to, to break the game. Um, yeah. OG plays Twitter, and uh, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. I don't know. Okay, you play ESO. Games. Yeah, no, I'll start a game, and I'll stream the beginning of it, and then I'm like, I don't like this game, and then I just won't stream it again, That's and really then I'll just stream another start of a game. I play a lot of first hour and a half. The, the of demo games. gamer. Yeah. Uh, do you want to shut yourself out? <laughs> sure. I'm OLG. If you like watching the first two hours of a game, you could follow me on Twitch. If you like listening to people bitch about shit on Twitter, you could follow me there. Uh, shout out to Shane, who had to read the recap. I eagerly look forward to his two rolls next week. Yeah, <laughs> please, next week off at least. He has to read it yeah. again. <laughs> no, this is a fair system. Shane, this is a fair system. Characters. It's not anyone's fair. fault that you can't fucking roll a dice, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, but this is just how it be. <laughs> Wait until wisdom. Yeah, both your characters are good yeah, with wisdom. That's fuck your week. you guys. Um, Actually, you get we two roles. Start, like, keeping track of like how many times people had to read it based on this. Um, hello, Joe Fudge. You can find me on this channel. Uh, I read Homebrew every Tuesday, and uh, that's pretty much all I know I'm doing this week. So um, other than that, I'll find some games to play during the week and we'll see you all for episode 69 next week. Actually, here's a question before we go. I can ask you off, off stream though. It's obviously Thanksgiving weekend. Are people busy next Sunday? Is it is it going to be a long weekend for anyone? That's yeah, the end of Thanksgiving we'll, weekend. We'll be good. Good. I might need to check, but... Okay, double check with me and then um, if you are, we can we can work out. Um, and yeah. we might postpone a week. Uh, all right, well, thank you so much, everyone. We'll let you know in the week and we'll see you guys soon. Uh, I'm going to raid into Sam. And uh, we'll catch you guys next week. Yeah, or the week after. Bye. 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 Bye.